Okay, all right, guys, we are live. What's up? What is up, everybody? What is up, people? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Woo. As you guys can see, we have a new overlay. Woo, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I did this new overlay because I thought it'd be really cool when we do story mode. Uh, it shows the, it still shows the roles that we're doing. Nice. And um, apparently, John John's is messing with effects on his camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like your bro, black and white, keeping it classic. I I kind of like the black and white, considering we're playing Curse of Strahd. Yeah. Yep. Are you zooming in? Um, that's too much. Uh, Jay, you're so zoomed in. That's a little too much. Zoom back out. A little more. I know, because there's a little <laughs> bit of a delay for you. Like, I can see it happening. Like, that's good. Just tilt your camera down if you can. Be your own man. And per a little more. Uh, it went back up. <laughs> How come I can't hear you, Jay? Are you? That's good. that's good actually. He's got a mouth because like a my mic is uh, not. My mic was muted because, uh, okay. of the game. because he's a disgusting mongrel who can't keep from shoveling food in his mouth. Everyone has power, <laughs> says the Roger. So yeah, as you guys know, today is PVT Wings, aka IRL Roger's birthday. Happy birthday! Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. So, uh, did, did you guys want to sing him happy birthday? Fuck, I'm doing it. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hear you guys. I know. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> you. Look at the way. It's so bad. Oh, that be like it. kind of. Like, it's bad. Like, Roger, happy you know birthday, bro. You guys, <laughs> hope you, you have a good. Have, hope you had an you awesome. Guys, happy day. birthday, Roger. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just give it at that, man. <laughs> oh shit! You're our most dedicated viewer. <laughs> Bottom of cake really at work, is. so he's happy. Make the appreciate pug. that. <laughs> he's got all the pugs. He's got all the pugs. He does. Oh wait, I need to pop out my character sheet. <laughs> Wish you had a million pugs, Roger. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You could practically control this game with a million pugs. Just saying. Practically. <laughs> Give us all the spells we could ever want or just destroy our dice rolls. So John John's just uh I cannot access my character's character sheet right now. Is that for a reason? Yeah, because I fucked it up. Damn That's it. Why. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It's cool. All right, so... Uh, you are a gnome ranger now. <laughs> I am a gnome ranger. Damn it, no. Yeah, it should, it should work now. Uh, make it open. There it is. All right. So... Where did I have last time? I have I forgot what happened. All right, so last we left off, you all were in. But you know, actually, before we get into the thing, we didn't make this announcement last time. Okay. Um, the pug store is totally still open. You guys earn pugs for watching the stream. You can get to the pug store like uh, directly if you are on Yanko's Yummy Yanko's Twitch page. Just click the pug that says pug store, and. Um, What's the what's the command to do stuff in the chat, Yanko? You can do uh, exclamation point store, and it should pop up the link to the store. Pretty sure. There you go. Um, we are working on a new store item right now. You guys can do things like buy uh, magic weapons, buy spells, influence rolls, which is something special that we do um, when there are big rolls. And uh, we're working on a new thing, which is going to be you guys can spend pugs to be an NPC in the game that we introduce. So we don't have all the costs ironed out, but probably by next week we'll have uh, we'll have that up in the store. Yep, yep, for sure. So you can appear. In well, well, me and John Johns were talking about the kind of brainstorming was like depending on we're going to have different prices. So you can either be just like a random NPC for one price, or you can be like an important part of the plot NPC for another price. We're still going to, like he said, work out the kinks during the week, but that's the idea. It should be fun. And I will make a custom token with a picture of you, so you will be in the actual campaign. It'll be you. 
stuff. I can I can see it now. It would be like my name is Strahd. Roger Strahd. <laughs> Roger Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> I am your your cousin's nephew's brother's cousin, <laughs> twice removed. Former roommate. <laughs> um, okay, so last we left off, you were all in Barovia. You had um, you buried the Burgomaster, not last session, but the session before that, and you went down into the basement. Half of the party wanted to go down there and slay um, Daru, the priest's son, who had been afflicted with vampirism. Several of you. Uh, Brandon, you weren't here, but I took uh, control of Nightbreeze, and you chose to not go down and kill him, and instead you left with um, M here. I hope Thank that you. was the right decision for your character. That was, yes, it was, very much so. <laughs> um... And so they uh, opened up the door and went down there to fight him, and he immediately ran out and into the town. Um, uh, I believe as you descended into the basement, he said that if you gave him blood, he would give you information. Um, you guys did not agree to that trade, and uh, we did combat. And he ran out the uh, top, of leading to a chase through Barovia. At which point he was captured by Walu. Did you capture him? Was it How you? Dare no. you. Agar, How dare you. Agar went <laughs> an alley and caught, and caught him. And while everyone was standing around arguing about what to do, M here, who didn't even want to um, go down and mess with the kid, uh, ended up walking up and decapitating him during the conversation. <laughs> You're completely misrepresenting what happened. <laughs> 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 They weren't arguing. They were trying to figure out the best way to torture him. Um, I'm unmuted. You had no idea. I was looking through my bag. I didn't say what I was doing until after you decapitated him. It wasn't... <laughs> all of you were talking about it. It wasn't uh, just you. I guess. You guys were talking about, about it. About torturing him? Oh, man. I wasn't there. I had been bitten. Uh, so let's go ahead and waterboard the kid like <laughs> Jesus. Bloodboard. <laughs> um, so, where we left off, we'll go ahead and move back to Barovia here. Um, you guys were in the village of Barovia after you had um, caught and executed Daru. Uh, we currently have your uh, tokens, where your characters were going, and that was Tika, Walu, and Agarim were going to the Blood of the Vine Tavern while... Um, David, Nightbreeze, M here, um, Pickles, and Irina Kolyanovic were going back to the um, Kolyana uh, mansion, the Burgomaster mansion. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, right. Do you all remember why you were going to your respective places? Yes. Well, I, I offered the guys if they wanted to get a drink with me while they while they uh, packed the stuff for our trip to the place that I forgot to write down that we're taking. <laughs> I really need to start taking it. <laughs> and they're anyone... grabbing a lot of garlic while they go get their uh, their things. In case we need a, a good meal. Yeah. In case we need actually, a good meal. Someone in the party has garlic already as well. Right? You had gotten it from, from the Irina's mansion earlier? I don't know who. Was that know, somebody did. I don't remember who it was. <clears throat> I think it was David. I didn't grab no damn garlic. <laughs> someone has <laughs> someone has four cloves of garlic on them. Yeah, somebody definitely got garlic. I do um, remember that, but I let's just okay, say it was me, David. Let me add some garlic to my uh, items. Actually, here. was it Walu? Because Walu, I think you're the one who who rolled knowledge and I determined. Initially... I'm the one who doesn't know. I don't know anything about vampires. I, I think it was Walu. Cool. I guess it would, it would make it sense that he'd be adamant about it, yeah. Um, and and do you guys remember the where you were told you talked to the priest Donovic? He made a rec made recommendations as to where to bring Irina. I yeah. yeah. I, I can't. He I cannot see my we're character. supposed to bring her to uh, either Valakia or a temple. It's uh, past Valakia in another town. Mm. Mm. The. The, the temple is in Valachia. The the other town is Kresik, and it's like a fortified town. Okay, I thought you said that Valachia was fortified. 
did I? Did I misspeak? Maybe I said it backwards. Kresikus Fortified Velakia has um, temple. the temple in it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Velakia. These are things yeah. I didn't hear, so I need to know that. <laughs> Unless I'm fucking crazy, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Maybe I am crazy. Bad man. Now Bad. I feel like I need to I need to I need to go look at everything to make sure. No, you're right. You're right. I was giving you it giving it to you backwards. Um the Abbey of St. Markovia is in Kresik and um Vlaki is fortified. Okay. Uh, so for you viewers, in case you can uh, don't, are not are catching what I'm doing here, I, I changed the overlay of this uh one a little bit also. I added on the bottom left the chat a smaller chat window so I can show more of the map during gameplay. But in the bottom left, you'll see the most recent comments or the most recent dice rolls that were made uh, that we yeah, that we did. So. Welcome back, Luke. Hey, Luke. Is, Luke. is there a, a has arrived. Somewhere? Uh, if you go to the character tab, like where it has core, spells, equipment, and character, there's like miscellaneous note boxes that you can type in. <clears throat> I might uh, take it. Detour to build wraths before I head to the tavern. Okay, so why don't why don't we play out? Um, you said before you head to the tavern. Yeah, uh, I might like go to build wraths first, and then I'll meet them there. So I'll be like, okay. hey, wh wh where you going, <clears throat> man? What's up? Where you going? Oh, I'm gonna go check out the other shop just for any last minute, you know, purchases just in case. I I didn't really pick up anything last time I went. Okay. Well, right. <laughs> okay, uh, then, then we'll, we'll, we'll play out Agrim first. Um, it's mainly because that damn Taroka card I drew, the merchant, it makes me want to shop. And I'm... Like, okay, is there... A, can I, like, search are, are the you, shop for anything? Are you talking character? Or oh, no, okay. I'm, I'm talking about DM right now. Like, am I able to like like search the shop for just anything anything interesting anything that that, that stands out as as something cool? Sure, make an investigation roll. Investig that's a thing. Holy smokes! <laughs> it's a skill on your character sheet. <laughs> um, well then, before I begin searching, can I actually do the uh, can trip on myself just to kind of help me search? What can trip? Guidance. If I could click myself, there we go. Okay, so you, are you gonna walk in and then cast the spell? I'll, I'll probably cast it before I actually enter the shop. Okay, so you standing outside the shop, you cast guidance, and you enter the shop. Um, yeah. You enter the shop, and it is much as you left it. You see the um, the male merchant bill draft behind the counter, and you <coughs> see his uh, lumbering uh, counterpart stocking things on the shelves. Hmm. He sort of stands up straight and he says, mm, Welcome back. Uh, perhaps I can I interest you in some gear. It's, it's dangerous out there. It, it, it certainly is. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, happily peruse your wares. Oh, you're late. Hey, Luke, you're good, man. Thanks uh, for the showing up, man. Bomb. There it is. Hey. Ooh, not bad, but man. I get to add a D4 to it. Bada bing. <laughs> well, oh, okay, so just 19 yet. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. Okay, so you um, see the 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 large um, boy sort of um, sliding like a heavy wooden case uh, that has like a latch top on it um, onto the shelf, and as he slides it up here, you can mm. hear the sound of glass clinking together inside of it. Huh. What's up, Eric? Um, yo, what up? Um, I ask him, uh, excuse me, kind sir. Um, what, what is that you happen to be stocking there? The, um, the, the wooden box. Uh, he, he pulls the box down. And he goes, um, here. And just hands you the box. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> um, I suppose I... Wait, did, did, am I getting the, the impression that he just wants me to take this? Uh, you're getting the impression that he he handed it to you because you had asked about it. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, well, um, I, I, I'll open the box. Yeah. 
Okay, um, you open the box, and inside you find two vials that are very clearly uh, potions of healing. Hell yeah. Um, I, uh, my eyes sparkle. I'm like, excellent. Um, how much for the potions, sir? He says, the... Those? The <clears throat> crimson water? Um... A, a hundred gold. Uh, Things there. Jesus. Dear sweet Christ. <laughs> ah, <clears throat> my soul. Uh, hmm. Do I have anything I can trade for him? Perhaps, perhaps. Your soul. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> no kidding. Oh my god. Um, oh man, oh man. Am I gonna steal these things? <laughs> 100 gold is far, far too much. I put my soul in the box. <laughs> um. Right, um, I tell him, a uh, hundred gold um, for mere crimson water. That seems uh, extremely steep, don't you think? Uh, okay, make a persuasion. Oh my god. I will expend all my fucking luck points if I need to. What? Whoa, what's going on with my sheet? Or yeah, what? I just lost my sheet, too. Oh, my, my sheet, it just disappeared. Oh, wait, there we go, I think. Did it just... Mine's Yep, mine did it too. It's been flashing in and out. Yeah, my sheet's back also, man. Thanks, dude. Okay, sorry guys. That that's because um <coughs> because of uh like the rotating camera thing I have going on with Yonko. It's passing possession of your characters to him, so it causes your sheet to flash. Huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I currently had possession of David the Gnomes. <laughs> I'm guessing because that's the only name I could see in the little <laughs> chat to change my name to. I was like, uh uh oh, the following uh, pages have become unresponsive. Oh no. <laughs> Flash yeah. player, why? Um I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart roll twenty real quick. You guys can keep going if you'd like. Are they gonna be able to hear us? Yeah, we're on Skype, okay. Um Bildreth shrugs and goes, hmm. Alright. It is just water after all, though maybe Heavy and iron. Um, Fifty gold for the both of them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot. You know what? Um, I I I let him know. I, I say, uh, um, I am but a, a humble a, a priest. Um, I I am not rich in, in, in gold. Um, per perhaps he'd be interested in a trade, and um, like, like, I'm able to show my inventory. Maybe he's interested in something on here. What do you offer him? Are you just going to dump your bag out on the table? I don't, I don't like what um, he's going. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I mean, would you like to set some things on the table? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll set out the, um, the ivory brush with the silver bristles, uh, the aspergillum, the scroll of purify food and drink. You also and have my. Um, you also have my my silver dagger that I oh, asked the, you to oh, the That's right. Yeah, yeah, a silver dagger too. Um. So he sort of looks over everything, and he um. He he goes. All right. I'll um. I'll give you both potions for the lot here. <laughs> Wait, so my scrolls, the bristles, aspergillum, and the dagger. Um, you know what? Yeah. Tell, no, tell him to go fuck himself. Oh. What are you talking about? What? Shut up! You're, you're not, not there. there. Oh you're my there. god! No! Oh, oh. Fuck. Somebody, I, I... somebody run to the shop and play the quick. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Agrim values shit. potions, man. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. Bill Drath, uh, starts pulling. Uh, he grabs the uh, the silver dagger off the counter and he gestures for the the large boy to grab the rest of it and he says, "All right, you have a deal. I hope you find good use for those, whatever they are." I, I thank him for his business and I, I exit, knowing full well that Tika is going to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> 
just, oh, yeah. just say. The bar, we're slamming we, uh, what the fuck let's go here? back. Let's go to the blood of the vine. Um, Tika and Walu, you're the ones at the blood of the vine. Um, you <laughs> all step in the door, uh, and it's it's a it, it's not changed much from when you were there. There are three um, sort of colorful clad figures sitting near the fire having a discussion. In the back corner, you can see Ismark the Lesser nursing a small um, tankard, and there's a, a few Barovians uh, peppered throughout the tavern. Um, as uh, as the two of you step in, you can see everyone inside uh, become visibly uneasy, um, and you notice the three uh, figures that are sitting near the fire um, begin to slip uh, daggers. Um, out of their uh, hip sheaths. Oy. Um, I, I come in and I say, "We come in peace." <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Take me to your leader. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, we just want a drink. We don't want any trouble. I kind of um, just back him up. I'm like, "Yeah, we're just here for a here for a drink, guys." <laughs> Eddie. It's, 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 fucking it, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ismark stands up and he's like, "It's it's it's fine, everyone. They're um, they're adventurers. They're uh, assisting my myself and Irina. They'll be out of the town soon enough. Um, here, have a seat at my table with me. Sh- share a drink." Okay. So we okay. Well, we I sit down. I sit down with him as well, um, and definitely start sharing that drink like immediately. I, uh, <laughs> I, I let him know that um, uh, I forgot his name. What's his name again? Um, is Mark? Is Mark? Sorry, no, because I'm, I'm I'm trying to fix something on my overlay while I'm doing this. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, um, just I your sister asked uh, for you. She did mention that she wanted to see you before she left. Is ah, uh, it is. It's come time for you to to take her somewhere safe. This is good to hear. Let us uh, let us finish our drinks and we will head that way. Agarim, it's about now you walk in the door. Um, you see both Walu and Tika sitting at the table with Ismark. Uh, if you look around the room, you can you can tell that the Barovians are, that are there are uneasy with the. Um, <laughs> The presence person of on fire. <laughs> and um and, and as you like walk in you can see one of the women uh at the table uh, one of the broy women at the table she turns to look at you um like like help us uh like as, as, as if you're you're there to to slay the the beast that have invaded the tavern <laughs> I, I i was cloaked I'm, I'm sure they can still see my eyes fucking scary as shit so yeah and you don't have Real hands, and you're covered. Yeah, in exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> when uh, I hear the door open, I kind of turn with the drink in my hand. I'm like, "Ah, go rim." Also, Walu's on green fire, so yeah, yeah, it's kind of freaking. As, um, as I take a sip, I've never had ale before, so I take a sip, and I'm like, <coughs> "What the hell is? What's this?" <laughs> uh, I have, a, I have a, a question, really quick. Mm-hmm. How does a a bird? Sip out of a glass. <laughs> How does a bird what? Sorry. How do you sip out of a glass? I so just like I tilt it. I tilt it. No, no, no. no. I, I, I tilt it and then I just I lick the the water, man. Like this. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> is, that, is that a good description for you? Yonko showing them. It's like it's like the beak goes over the glass and then I just like. <laughs> Um, okay. So Ismark says. Oh, that works for everybody. <laughs> uh, as a um, a normal, you know, uh, priest elf, uh, I walk in, and when I see the general uneasiness, I, I turn to uh, Tika and, and Walu, and I say, "Ah, there you are, my my good friends, my trusted compatriots." And I walk over and put my arms around them. Um, so as you, as you walk by the woman, before you even get a word out, um, it's clear that she catches sight of your, um, your pointed elf ears and sort of, um, takes a scowl and, and is a little taken aback and turns her attention away from you. (laughs) (laughs) I can't Uh, inflict wounds on her. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, Uh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. 
I'm uh, say, as, as Mark says, uh, Agarim, uh, have a seat beside me here. We'll we'll get you a glass, and then we'll head back uh, back home to see Irina. I um, I get up, and I, I I head to the bar to get another drink. And something else. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, uh, you you approach the barkeep, and the and the same um, sort of middle aged man is behind the counter. He goes, "Oh, what can I get for you?" Um, do you have anything made from fruits or nuts? Ah, uh, yes, actually. Um, what do you have at the table there? It comes from grapes. Oh, it was wine. It's a type of wine. Oh shit! Then I would have known what it was. I thought it was ale or something, man. I'm sorry. I bet. <clears throat> okay. Oh, they only serve wine in this town, and I was mad before I started <laughs> drinking. Oh, really? It, I guess I missed it's that. A, it's a Barovian grape, so it doesn't taste good. <laughs> Yeah, I was um, I was unfamiliar with the grapes, I guess. Um, I, I say, oh, they must have gone bad, and I go back to the table. <laughs> 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 um, so as you're all standing there, um, uh, drinking, one of the 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 three figure, the three people in the colorful clothes, um, she stands up and she walks over to the table and. And puts a hand on Ismark, and she says, Ismark, uh, perhaps your companions should pay a visit to Madame Ava. I'm sure she would have something interesting in store for them. And he sort of gives her a nod, and she returns back to her spot by the fireplace. And he leans in, and he says, Madame Ava is a fortune teller. She's in the Vistani encampment down the river by the Seer Pool. Um, I'm not one for magical readings of the future, but she could have useful information in your quest. I, I, I become very interested, and I ask, Fortune Teller, um, can, can, where, where, where can I see her exactly? Is she available now? I, I, I don't know, if, my, my backstory is that I, like, I'm trying to figure out what kind of dark forces are coming to destroy my forest. Um, so I was, I wanted to get more information on what she knows regarding my, you know, me. Mm -hmm. Uh, he says, um, yes, actually, uh, since you're already heading to Velaki, uh, the, you'll, you'll cross the river. Uh, once you cross the Iblis River, you'll be brought to a fork. Stay right on the fork to be taken to the, Vi to the Stani encampment. It'll take you to the Seer Pool. If for some reason you'd like to avoid them, head left. But would, would there be a reason we need to avoid them? Are they hostile? Uh, no, we, we've never had an issue with them, but you're um, unconventional. <laughs> I, uh, whatever do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just, I wonder I, what he means by that. I, I take another sip of the wine and gag a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably sneak some of the wine back into my wine skin, you know, refill that shit. Okay. Uh, are the are the people in there still uneasy? Like, are they looking at us still kind of funny? Uh, yeah, people are, are giving you the side eye, and actually, like, several of them have filtered out the door. Okay, they just because of the sight of us? Alright. Damn. I, yeah, uh, I, actually, yeah, I mean, sorry, remember... I'm, in, I'm in repulsing. Land, in a land, like, filled with monsters... Uh, you, you guys take note, the only race you have seen in here, all of these Barovians, they're all human. There, there are no, no metahuman races at all. Gotcha. Okay. So I, I turn to the barkeep and ask, do you have any live food? <laughs> <laughs> he, so, he sort of, um, squints his eyes at you, um, as if he's trying to judge you. You know, <laughs> a says, rat, a cat, a dog something I can swallow and consume. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we prefer our meat I I dead and cooked, unlike the creatures of the night that crawl around here, snatching up whatever's wiggling in the dark. I should hope that that's not you. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I'm strictly animals. No, no human. He, 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 <laughs> he finishes... <laughs> And it's just cleaning a glass, and he says, Ismark, I think it's time for you to take your companions home. They go, whoa, whoa, and whoa. I'm hungry. Ismark <laughs> gives him a nod, and sort of, uh, he, Ismark gets up, 
um, leaves his drink unfinished and starts um, gesturing for you all to, to head out the door. Rude. <laughs> I just, I grab Ismark's drink and I just down it real quick. Put it back okay. on the table. All right. Um, we'll kick it back over to the manor where M here, Nightbreeze, David, and Irina have arrived to um, pack up provisions. Uh, you all entered the house. Now it's still uh, it's still daytime, so Irina has gone up to ooh, excuse me has gone up to her room to um, pack her things and left you all on the bottom floor to the mill about and discuss things as you'd like. All right. Well, I'm gonna um, go take pickles out and tie her up since it's uh, daytime, so it's pretty safe for her. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so before he does that, I'm going to grab him and examine his wounds because he was eviscerated by the <laughs> vampire. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you give me a medicine check? Well, uh, no. I'm just gonna use lay of hands. The lay of hands. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you were worried about vampirism. Uh, no, I, I'm not. Hold okay. still, David. You you look terrible. The llama will be fine. Ah, Just a second. Ah, didn't I patch up David? He healed me, but I mean... I, what's, oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you were still really low on hit points. What, what I, you, am, uh, I still only have half hit points. I still got to take All right, well, for that. yeah, okay. So you still look terrible. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, how many hit points are you missing? Uh, eight. All right, I'll give you eight hit points back. <clears throat> So I just um, touch my hand to his his wound. Assume, I assume that it's on his neck because I'm not touching anywhere else. You're disgusting, <laughs> all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, my hand becomes bathed in like a holy light, and I place it over the wound, and it instantly heals up. Hey, Go thanks. pickles now. All right. Come on, pickles. Let's find you some grass. Uh, Night Breeze, what what would you like to do? So I just saw him heal him. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull the wrapping from my eyes. Like, do you have anything for this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's slightly beyond anything I can do, unfortunately. F- fair enough. I thought I would ask. If I could have, I would have tended to it long ago. <laughs> Okay. Um, so yeah. So if if she's getting her stuff together, I mean, I, there's there's not really anything for me to do in here. So I'm just gonna rest until uh, I guess she's packed up. Or I, you know what? No, I'll I'll, I'll scrounge the house or uh, scrounge through the house, just looking for uh, you know food or anything that might be useful. Like if they have like holy water stashed around here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she does not have any holy water stashed around. Um, if you guys look for food, um, you can find like a handful of uh, rations in the kitchen, as well as um, h- heartier vegetables, some of the the root vegetables, uh, potatoes, carrots. Though they do look sort of gnarled, um, they they are they are edible. Um. Well, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go find her. I want to ask her if I can just search through the house for anything useful. Okay, you um you head up the stairs and you poke around a little bit and you find Irina in the master bedroom of the home. Um, clearly, this bedroom belonged to the burgomaster, as there is a, a, a family portrait on one side of the room and a heavy portrait of himself on the other, hanging over the bed. And she stands next to uh, like a, a an armor um, dummy. Yeah, where she is uh, pulling a very silvery-looking um, breastplate off of it. Uh, at her side, you see that she has a belt and a rapier sheathed. Wait, so she, does she... Uh, Irina, is that your armor? She says, no, it was originally my father's, but it fits well enough. It will help protect me on the journey when you all cannot. She begins strapping the breastplate on. I'm sure such a time will never come. Let us uh, hope. But since you're preparing yourself for your journey, and it's, we, we've already seen that all sorts of horrors can befall us at a moment's notice, uh, 
would you mind if I searched the manor for anything useful? Of course, I'll seek your permission if I find anything that could be useful on the journey, and I'll be respectful of, of uh, anything private. She says, uh, of course, just before you take anything, run it by me. I don't want to strip the manor. His mark still has to live here. Of course. So I'm going to unsheath my sword and knock her out and then take the armor out of her. Are you actually? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was like, it's, I was like, it's only a breastplate. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and just look around. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for? I... I mean, it, I don't have anything specific in mind, so I'm just kind of just searching. Okay, um, you can make an investigation roll. I mean, I, I guess obvious things would be gear, if there's any kind of armor, swords, or, I don't know, scrolls, stuff like that. But um, You definitely don't find any um, scrolls. There don't, doesn't appear to be any additional armor in the house, however... Um, when you're poking around one of the bedrooms that clearly belongs to a family member, you do find, uh, like, several daggers. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll grab those to and bring them to her to ask about them. Uh, and my investigation... 17. Okay. Um, so you, you grab the, the daggers and you, you bring them back to her and... And she says, oh, those are those are Ismark's, but he should be fine. He has his sword, and I'm sure he has a few more stashed around here somewhere. If, if, if you feel that you need them, feel free to take them. Are they silver or anything, or are they just regular daggers? They're just regular daggers. Hello, Woodstock. It's roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> Woodstock! Thank you, milady. I'll speak with the other members of my party before uh, we decide. Uh, we need these. Sorry, Woodstock, they don't like uh, links in the chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you send a link, it's going to purge all your messages. Be careful. Yeah, uh, yeah actually, <laughs> I did change that. Uh, if you are, I have a new group now, so if you're a, a frequent watcher, I will know because I will see you here often. I'd, I'll add you to a list where you can use links. So, Roger, you can use links now. Jesse, and all you guys can use links also on the chat now. See you now. <laughs> hmm. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, assuming that my investigation doesn't find anything, um, then I, I don't have anything else to do. I'll just wait for it to get ready. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, pull the uh, pull a Taroko card for me. Huh. Jay? Yeah, I was I was trying to drag it, and I said to draw one, and I typed one end. Did it not draw it? Uh, j just physically put your cursor over it. The card will slide out the top. And just drag it over. Click it and drag it on, and release. There you go. Bum bum. <laughs> oh, that's um, not good. <laughs> that last okay. scary. So while you're um searching through uh, sort of everything in the house, you find uh, a, a little hatch that goes down to a small area under the house. Um, in, in that hatch, you find uh, two torches, uh, a flask of oil, and a uh, bag of ball bearings. A bag of ball bearings, okay. And those are in the, uh, if you search the compendium in roll 20, you can find all those items. So two torches, oil, and ball bearings. And there's there's nothing else down there. Uh, no, it was like a small crawl space. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's all I'm doing. I'll just clear it with uh, Irina. Okay. Um. So. She, she gives you the go-ahead. She's like, oh, yes, I'm sure those have been rotting down there for a while. Help yourself. What was ball bearing? In the of space? Just, uh, I'm just... What if you can use them like, when you're running away from someone to make them like, trip and shit? Just throw them behind you? I don't know. You put them <laughs> up your ass. Oh, cartoon <laughs> Network style? 
Were you just asking what, what they're used for, or why they were why would why they would be in the basement? Why they were in the basement? Um, she says, "Oh, I, I recall Ismark and I playing with them when we were children." Oh, all right. Uh, I'm we sure would, we can find a use for him. We would I'm draw not saying that like a creep. Uh, draw a small circle, and you'd have to, um, shoot sort of flick the ball bearing and, and, and knock knock your opponent's ball out of the ring. You play strange games here. Well, I suppose it was something to pass the time as a child. We practiced with swords and, uh, you know, played slaughtering monsters. Um, she Seems sort like of... the sort of thing that would be useful for Barovians. Yeah, she she draws the sword out and looks at it, and she says, "Well, I'd like to say I wish you had a better childhood, but now I'm starting to wish that I had yours." I'll just sternly nod. Well, um, we should be heading out. Well, we still well. Now I guess we probably want to take a rest. Um, would it be possible to uh, stay the night so that everyone can recuperate a bit before we leave? Uh, yes, of course. You're welcome to stay here until we leave. I'll speak with the rest of my party members. All right, I'm going downstairs. Okay. Um. So, uh, night breeze. But did you want to do anything during this time? Uh, no, I don't really have anything. I just want to. I'll be in the main like dining area, just reading through my history of Barovia book. <laughs> Okay, uh, Walu, Tika, and Agarim, you arrive uh, with Ismark. I want to come back I, um, in with them. Before we go in, I said, um, Agarim, before we go inside, can you come here for a second? Uh, sure, what, what is it? And uh, I pull out uh, the two books I found in the, the church a couple of sessions ago. And I had them in my backpack. I don't know if you remember when I was exploring the church when I first got there, I found two books. Um... And I said, I, I found these two books. I'm not really familiar with what they do, but I thought maybe you can check them out and see if anything useful. Hmm. It was that um, night where we met Strahd. Um, all right. Um, I well, once again, I'll cast guidance on myself, and then I say, I'll 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 give him a look and see if I can you know, figure something out. Um. It, it, what I need to make a, a roll for this or something? Or? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, um, the Tika found these books from the church, and he wanted me to see if I knew what they were about. Uh, Tika, what were the books that you found? Do you, you never, remember the titles you, you or never, anything? You never told me what they were. I just said you just said you find two old books in a bookshelf. And I oh, I, th- th- this is in in the in the quarters. Okay, yeah. So um. Go go ahead and make a religion roll, Agarim. Alrighty. You you don't need to send guidance into the chat every time. Oh snap! Oh, oh I just do it for the fancy effect that it makes on my token. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> feel free to use it then. <laughs> Please feel free to use it. Please don't forget to add your D four. Please. Oh my God! One D four. Here we go. Give me a four at least, maybe. <laughs> two. Um, uh, so y- you you look over the books, and it's clear that they are like religious texts of some sort. Um, but you're not really familiar with the stories. Uh, to you, it just looks like a, another book of sort of holy tales. Can I expend uh, one of my luck points to try to reroll that? Sure. All right. Bada bing, that's one. Shit. I feel like I should be saving these for more crucial stuff, but I want to know what's in this goddamn book. Oh, oh man! My God. <laughs> <laughs> no, forget it. I'm not wasting any more luck points. Hey, you did better. <laughs> Alright, the, ex- the exact same thing. <laughs> so oh, as, I, as I look at you, at the book's all confused, I'm like, don't hurt yourself. And I walk into the house. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so it, you all see Ismark enter the house uh, just as Irina is coming down the stairs. For those of you who are not M here, uh, this is the first time you've seen Irina in, in not just common clothes. 
She's wearing um, a sterling breastplate and has a rapier at her hip. Um, her brother sees her coming down the stairs and he says, I see you've chosen to take father's armor with you. I, I hope it protects you. I hope all of you are able to protect her. Do our best. She's in good hands. She's under the guidance of the helm, as well as these fine warriors. Yo. Mostly fine warriors. <laughs> yep. Here's a picture. Cool. <coughs> Don't ask me why her rapier looks like a like it's goddamn <laughs> like eight inches wide. <laughs> like freaking Zelda's sword. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool though. Nice. It's a special <laughs> rapier. Yeah. It's called it's, a short it's, sword. It's, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I order my rapiers an extra wide. Let's call it the Burger Master. <laughs> um, cool. uh, Irina turns to, uh, or Irina is still talking to Ismark, and she says, we're going to stay the night here, get some rest, and then we'll head out in the morning. And Ismark says, it it will be good to spend a, another evening with you before you leave. Uh, everyone, c- come inside, let me prepare dinner. And All I right. go, that's my cue when I head out the house. <laughs> uh, if, to, to go look for dinner. <laughs> okay. Uh, does anyone want to do anything while time passes for the evening? I would like to... I will I would play like... my bagpipes. Okay. I would while like the... to... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I guess uh, I'm going to come play bone, char- uh, bone chimes with him and jam. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Walu, before you head out, uh, I, Irina allowed me to, to take these two daggers. They were, um, what's his face? Is uh, Ismark's. Ismark's. <laughs> these, these are Ismark's daggers. Can you uh, check them to see if they have any magical properties? Otherwise, I don't know if, if we need to take them, but if, if you need them, then of course. I actually don't believe I can. <laughs> I don't have a. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm not able to do that. Sadly, <laughs> you, a wizard, can't detect if these are magical. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay, I'll find somebody else. <laughs> if you had a pearl, I could try to identify something. <laughs> I'm not looking to have them identified. I just want to know yeah. if they have any kind of magical property. Like, if, if, if you can sense anything magic about them at all. Yeah, I apologize. I cannot, but perhaps when I learn a bit more about my craft, I can give it a shot. Um, <laughs> Agarim? Um, I'm not very proficient in the uh, magic arts, but I, I could certainly give it a try. I know you have detect magic. Wait, detect somebody, magic? somebody well, has detect I magic. I, I have detect magic, but but, he's but you're not. Rats. But I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess when you when you come back in, I, um, I also don't have access to my character sheet at the moment. So, well, well I, I have a lot of yeah. books right now. Yeah, mine mine keeps clipping in and out. All Might right, just well, be roll twenty. Yeah, I'll, it must I'll, be. I'll just, I'll just stash the, the knives in my belt and um, and, and wait for Tika. I don't suppose you can figure out anything about these night breeze. Or David? <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, back pipes. I can try. Alright, I'll hand them to you. Uh, what am I checking here, John? <laughs> <laughs> what do you... To see just, if it's magical? I just want yeah. somebody to cast Detect Magic on Do you it. have like, Detect Magic? You need to cast Detect Magic. So. Oh, no. Well, then does anybody have that? I, I do. And so does, uh, I will so does M here. Level, I promise. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah, I, I, don't, I can't. I'm not a ritual caster, and I've used all my spells. That's that's why I have. I didn't do it myself. Gotcha. I don't, actually, I don't, I'm not, I, don't, I don't remember if I have it prepared or not. That's why I can't. I'm just trying to see my character sheet to see. Okay. I, I got you. Hold on. Well, didn't somebody? No, hold on. Somebody just cast it. They they cast it when um, the hag lady. Yeah, that was me. Uh, what's her name? So then I did have it. Uh, okay. It was, okay, that was it me. Was. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So then you have to have it. So yeah, your your character sheet should name be available. M something. Morgana. Morgana. No, not <laughs> Morgantha. Sorry. Morgantha. 
Ooh, going to so wow here. Uh, the music went away, and when you gave me the character access, everything like froze. Um, uh, but that was probably because I switched the the, the turn. Okay. It should on freeze here in a second. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll check All right, that. Well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, just, I'll just wait for him. We don't, we don't need to wait. Okay. okay. Um, Tika, what, what are you doing? Um, I was going to, because they mentioned food, so I was just gonna go outside and hunt for my food. Okay. I, was, uh, I, I also, I also want. I'm curious about the town. There's some roads we didn't get to explore that I wanted to go through. So you're just, you're, what you want to go? So are you gonna go out and hunt, or are you gonna walk through the town? Or are you going to hunt for, like, vermin in the town? Essentially <laughs> both, yeah. Hunting for vermin in the town. Okay. Uh, uh, make, just, uh, hmm? I just wanted to point out, uh, part of my character traits, uh, my character doesn't really know, the, understand the the, the, the the meaning of ownership of things. Like, if he sees something that he needs, he'll just take it. He doesn't consider it stealing. He's just part of, you know, it's an animal nature thing. So, yeah. Go ahead, okay, make, make a perception check. Uh, do Okay, the perception. I can't click on my shit. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in edit mode. I'm in edit mode. Can so why can't I click on it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you find nothing. Okay, so you, I mean, you managed to track down some, like, a, a rat scurrying through town. It's clearly trying to, like, get under the foundation of a house when you snatch it by the tail. Um. Oh. Also, as I, as I'm walking through the streets, I don't know if you see the map. Kind of like mm -hmm. I'm kind of like curiously peeking through alleyways and windows, seeing if I see anything, any any food or anything interesting, or anything dangerous. Um. Okay. Yeah. You uh. You are heading around and you see uh, a familiar old woman. Uh, oh, the, the hag over here. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh. Not. Knocking on doors with her cart. I uh, I, I try to pretend I didn't see her and go down the alleyway. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. you're back behind a house and there's a, a small well uh, seated there. Um, however, it's it's during the daytime and while it is still um, overcast, it's it's rather bright. Um, the town almost seems more ominous during the day because it seems so strange that there are so few people out. However, uh, you you can hear so uh, people sort of as you walk past the doors. Um, some of the houses, there's clearly something moving inside of them. But, I, I can't see what it is. Right? I just, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's the people in them. Yeah. You could make that assumption. Okay, you could yeah. try and find a window. It's up to you. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll look through some... I mean, I am looking through some windows actively as I walk through. Okay, um, so if you take the time to look through windows, you see um, some of the houses are, are, you know, are populated by Barovians just living out their daily lives. Uh, you see numerous houses where there are one, two adults, maybe a child. You um, know what? Sort of <laughs> I'd like to peek through the window of the guy we checked that was asleep. Mm -hmm. I want to just kind of like just check to see if he's still asleep. I think okay, it was this um, one, right? No. Uh, no, it was like over here. It was pretty north. Yeah. That was further north. Oh, okay. So, yeah, just so just you you you, you head back up there and you peek in the the window that uh, is still open. I believe you guys, or did you break the window? Yeah, I, I tried to open it quietly and I broke the latch. I guess. Oh no, it was just super loud. Yeah, so the window still hangs open and uh, he is still passed out with his head on the table. Okay, so I, I, I noticed he's not dead or anything, so... To make he's still sleeping. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna wait till it's nighttime to do more stuff. I, I head back to the house after that. Okay, um, I mean, you guys said you head back to the house and evening starts to come. The sun starts to fall away behind the horizon and Ismark comes out of the kitchen with a prepared stew of uh, potatoes, onions, carrots, and meat and, you know, begins pouring you all a bowl. Would you all like to do anything with the evening? I'll be I'm gonna go outside and put pickles <laughs> inside. <laughs> okay, you, you bring pickles into, like, the, the main living area and tie him up. And he's... Her, sorry, and she sits down on the ground. Good girl. Her. Her little pat on the head. Oh, crap. 
So I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll say a, a prayer over this hearty meal and um, thank our uh, host, eat it, and then uh, head to bed. So, okay. Uh, Is everyone else gonna pass the evening, or I'm I'm waiting for it to be dark, uh, nighttime to be a little bit more. It, it is night. It is currently night. Okay. You're like suicidal tonight, or so. What are you doing outside of it? I'm a creature of, of the night, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Did you you got bit by the vampire? <laughs> I'm a freaking I'm owl. Was... <laughs> That's okay, when all the so... critters come out. We we know Tika wants to go outside. Uh, does anyone else need uh, want to do anything with their night, or are you guys, or is everyone else going to just go to sleep? I'm just gonna um, go meditate after I finish eating. I should rest, considering I'm still technically hurt in a way. Um, I still have fun. exhaustion, so I'd love to rest. Well, who's who's still hurt? I mean, well, you healed the wound, and I got my hit points back. Like, I still need to rest because I'm still like actually. Damaged. Yeah, like you have the effects of the bite, right? You have to have a full rest before you. Oh, that's right. Your hit point max was exhausted reduced. or something. Yeah, it's, it, it it was reduced by like half of his hit points too. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I leave, I go up to um, Night Breeze and Agarim, since they're elves and I know they don't need the full night's rest. And I ask them if they would like to come join me as I as I hunt a little more, just to be safe. Um, I. Since I only need about uh, what is it, four hours of rest? I say certainly I'll, I'll join you for uh, for a few hours. No. Jay, you drew forty three cards from the Taroka deck. <laughs> <laughs> I I, oh I did that like way earlier. Where I did they go? Like I, I did that a couple of days ago, but I didn't think it mattered. Oh, they're on his like on his little area. <laughs> yeah. Right <laughs> oh, oops. Freaking idiots. <laughs> How do I put him back? Actually, before that, can I talk to Irina? Uh, like, I don't know. It's fine. You can leave him. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I just want to ask, how long do these bite marks hurt? <laughs> she would have experience. Um, she says, well, I suppose mine took a few weeks to heal. But uh, uh, they stopped hurting after the first day. Okay. Uh, do you ever still feel, like, weird? Uh, just sometimes I, I can feel them throbbing in the night. Uh, fine. Uh, do I overhear this? Uh, are you having the conversation where other people can hear? Uh, um, so, uh, no, we went off to, like, a different room. Your son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I, I, can just, I can just tell you later, but anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, so throb in the middle in the middle of the night does it ever wake you up? Does it disturb your sleep? Uh, no, I I wake during the night for other reasons beyond the bite. Ah, the bathroom. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. I may be small, but I have a very never mind. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> I may be small, but I also have a small bladder. <laughs> <laughs> Chiquito pero picoso. So when we leave for this journey, I was going to say, you can ride pickles so you don't have to walk the whole time. I don't have a saddle, but you should be okay. Um, she sort of looks at you for a moment and she says, I I think maybe he's a little small for me to ride. <laughs> uh, it looks, she looks it's pretty big. Well, I'm a gnome. Okay. Okay, you have a good In the point. background, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> that? Okay, well, that was all the questions I had. Uh, night, lady, Irina, miss, ma'am. I don't know what to call you. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, yes, have a, have a good rest. I'll see you in the morning. We'll begin our journey. Okay, bye. That's kind of just scary off. Okay, uh, I'm here and Night Breeze. Tika had um, talked to you and asked if you wanted to join him. Oh yes, I, I will indeed join. Agarim and Night Breeze. Sorry, Agarim and Night Breeze, not him here. <coughs> Agarim and Night Breeze. No, I, I don't want to join you at the moment. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, night comes, and Agarim and Tika head out the front door of the house. All right, cool. I um, I start walking towards the 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 back of this shop right here, Bill Dratz, Mercantile. As I approach it, do I see that it's closed? Um, I mean, it certainly appears closed. There, there's not a whole lot of visible light, though. If you look up, you can see smoke coming out of the chimney. Okay. Hmm. Okay. As we're walking, I ask him. Um, so, how'd you get that potion you gave me? I say, oh, uh, I, I sold the uh, the silver sword you gave me among you know some, some other junk that I had. Oh, it must be a very expensive potion. Uh, he tried to sell it to me for a hundred gold, can you believe it? Uh, I haggled him down to fifty, but that's still nearly five times as much as everything I'm holding. Hmm. I'd like to check to see if there's anybody in the shop. Are you gonna, like, look through a so, window? Yeah, I'll, I'll look through, sneakily through a window. A per okay. Per perception check? Um, no, you don't need a perception check to look through a window. Okay. Um, so you sort of wander around the house, or around the, um, building, and all of the windows are dark except for, um, one. And when you peer in, you can see, like, it leads into a small bedroom, uh, where Bildrath has a candle lit on a writing desk. And he appears to be, uh, sitting, uh, on the bed with his back to the window. Okay. On this side of the house here. On the side of the building. All right. I um. I tell him. Well, I tell Agarim. You know what? I was I was thinking about coming in here and and taking more things that we needed for the road, but I really don't want to disturb this man. Let's just go back to bed. Very well then. Yeah. All right. I was hoping it'd be abandoned. <clears throat> You know, for what illicit purposes? <laughs> well, I thought you, if you if you don't have any any concept of ownership, then why do you care if somebody's there? I don't want to bother him. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you're just polite. Yeah. Okay. Um, you you return to the house uh, a short time after you've probably been gone, maybe thirty minutes. <laughs> Um, if... I just love how you took a priest to go try to rob somebody. I know you don't have <laughs> concepts of that, but damn. <laughs> I, I, um, I, I, I snuggle into bed. <laughs> assuming that we're, we're just going to take a long rest, um, I, I might as well just burn um, my my luck points just to see if I can decipher that damn book. Like, like, like I'm, I'm salty about it now. <laughs> Um, you've already taken a, a, a look on the book. Um, unless the circumstances change, we're going to keep the same rules. Ah, all right, cool, cool. Um, then yeah, I, then I, I'm just going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so everyone uh, rests through the night, um, and you wake up as the sun begins to come up in Barovia. The elves are, of course, already awake, as they were never asleep. <laughs> Did we regain health points on a long rest? I don't remember. Yeah, you regain all your health points. Hell yeah. And you regain half of your hit dice that you've spent. Half? I only spent one, so I guess I just get that one back. Yeah, you get one. Sorry, not that you've spent. You regain half of your hit die. That's what I should have said. Uh, cool. Yeah, my okay. wild shit is recharged. Restore my shit. Tika, before we leave, I need you to look at these daggers. Can you tell me if uh, there's anything magical about them? Um... Hold on one second, let me look at my spells. I guess I'm a, I'm a, during the week I must, I must have changed them knowing we are going to take a long rest. Um... Yeah, sure. And I, I start performing my ritual. Uh, oh, that's, that's dope. When you guys hit the rest, it tells you what recharges. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. I said, I, I go sure. I, so I grab them and I and I cast uh, detect magic. Oh, I forgot there's a. Oh, not cast as a ritual. I just Sorry. manually do my shit. Yeah, we have the API, so you guys can use that. Also, um, Tika, you only hit short rest, not long rest. I hit. Oh my. Oh no, no, you did. You hit short, short, long, long. 
She's like, regain everything. I just want everything back. Uh... So yeah. I do, I do the thing. Check for, for magical stuff. Okay. Um, you, uh... Stare at it, um... And focus in, but... You are unable to find... Um, anything magical uh, about it. About them. Okay. I... I... I'm here. I, these are just regular old daggers. You said they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, regular old daggers. Hmm. Thank you. Um, I'll hold on to one of them and put the other one back. Okay. As he says, thank you. I start hawking up my my rat from the night before. <laughs> Spit it up in front of him. <laughs> Haven't we discussed this before? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why this bothers you so much, but I will take it outside. I pick it up and I take it outside. Thank you. As long as you understand that it bothers me, that's all that matters. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Ismark says, uh, sort of serves you all uh, some simple biscuits for breakfast and says, I... I suppose it's time for you to head out. It's best to spend as much time on the road during the day as possible. Let's get the show yes, on the I'm, I feel the same. Do you have any advice about making camp at night? Um, my recommendation is that you don't. If you do, at least keep it near the road. Okay. How long Fair is enough. the journey to uh, the temple? All the way to the temple. Um, that would require passing through Velaki and making all the way to Kresk. That would take twelve hours, maybe more. All right. Well, if we hurry, we can make it. Otherwise, we'll have to stop at Velaki. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Lady Arena, are you ready? Is, uh, yes, I believe I am. I go to the brother uh, and I, I shake his hand and I say, thank you for letting us stay at your place. <laughs> he says, of, of thank course. Thank you for your hospitality. Some... Yes. Please. Thank you for your it's, it's, a, it's a lovely nest. Thank you. I, uh, I hope all goes well. <laughs> And hopefully I see you all again soon. Nice and healthy. Oh, yeah, we, we wish the same. Die. The helm will guide us through safely. Uh, <laughs> I'll open the door for everyone. Okay. Um, does anyone want to do anything before you guys head out? Nope. No. Uh, no. Just make sure I have pickles. I think we're good. I'm good. Okay. Um, so, you guys exit out the gates of, uh, the eastern gates of Barovia. Let me bring you all over to the map here. Uh, it opens up into a dirt road, uh, surrounded by grassland. Um, are you guys able to see the revealed part of the map here? I can't see anything. Uh, let me zoom oh, out. yeah. Okay. You might need to zoom out so you can actually see where it's at. Okay, I see it now. Yeah, it's on the far right. Bottom, it's the bottom right of the map, Ray. There it is. Just took it a second to show up. All uh, right, I got it now. Yeah. <laughs> I have a black screen. Yeah, it's supposed to be black, yeah, it, but the bottom right it's shows. Way, yeah, on the bottom right. Yeah. John is. John, did, um, did you draw that? Did I draw the map? No. No, yeah, oh, just the the visible area. That looks like something you'd find at Megaplex. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just I was like, wait, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so feel free to Google Megaplex in San Antonio to see what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> or don't, you'll be safer that way. <laughs> just don't post a link on my chat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you guys are just going to. Head out then, no one else needs to do anything, right? Right. No. Mm, no. 
Let's okay. Go. So let's put, let's give you guys a little icon here. Is this um, the one we came in on? No, we came uh, in from the other side. You, you came in on the right hand side. So the road that's revealed, that's where you guys have been. Okay. Which is why I, why I revealed it. Yeah. Um, I just pickles. Sure. Pickles will be you guys. Oh, I see. This this is yeah. Barovia right here, right? Is that what Barovia. you're saying? That, that, oh. So this is the village. Right. Village. And then this is our exit right here. And you, you're coming out over here. Gotcha. Okay, now it all makes sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and the right-hand side was... This is... Here, let me draw. I might get my little... So all of this here, this is where you traveled. Came in up here. Magic. And then whoosh, you went down and you were in Barovia. Nice. The poofs. I love the poofs. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, so... We are going to make some travel rolls, which means this. Bum, bum, bum. It is time, Yanko, for you to enable. Oh, no. Okay, we'll oh, talk rolls. Man. All right. It is time for them to travel, which means that there are going to be random encounter rolls. You can now spend any pugs that you've earned to influence the not rolls. Yet, not yet. Not yet. Once Sorry. he enables it. Let me enable it real quick. So. Next time you try to give me a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. So. Um, they're going to be rolling these. Uh, the higher that they roll for this encounter, the higher the chance that they get an encounter. So for each plus one you give, you increase their chance of getting an encounter. Uh, once the music is done playing, well, we'll you go might ahead have to and tally up. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll restart it here. Just yeah. let me know when you're ready. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll see how they do on their travels. All right, everything has been enabled. So, all right, guys, everything has been enabled. People in chat, those are the commands. So if, if anyone wants to spend pugs to make their lives easier or harder, I prefer the second one. <laughs> so they can run into more crap. Um, feel free to spend up. So guys, what are, what are you gonna do on your on the road while you're traveling? Um, you guys are on foot. Aside from uh, actually, David, do you ride around on pickles, or do you just walk next to her? Uh, well, for the most part, I've just been walking. But if we're gonna be on a longer travel, I guess I can. I'll, I'll ride her. Okay. I ask uh, Dave. Traveling. Oh really? Sure. You really? want, uh, you, you want loot? You want loot, loot, or bagpipes? L Luke helped you. Remember, lower is better for you guys. Oh, lower is better. That's weird. I thought that he uh, wanted uh, to hurt us. Unless Luke, did you intend that to be painful for them? No, if no, you no, did, no, let me know no, so no, I can no, switch no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you should have paid big attention. <laughs> Yo, egg. You want bag? You want bagpipes, loot, or the flute? Which one do you want? Oh, uh, well, shit, man. Give me the uh, the bagpipes. All right. You know, get them the... on my pack. All right, music's officially oh, yeah. over. If anybody wants to spend pugs now, now is your chance before I disable. Five, All right. Four. Oh, the music's not over. Oh, it is for <laughs> me. My bad. It is for the chat also. What? Uh, it is for my viewers. Oh, there's a delay, dude. You're, you're watching the stream, right? No, the we're listening to it. Yeah, we're listening to it on our own ends. Your sound has been turning off. Not... Like no. it, it, it just hit the weird like empty bridge in the song where it pauses for a second. Uh, my, well, mine didn't restart. I guess when you restarted it, because that's what there's happened. Still a little more time on that. Yeah. Yeah, there's still a little more time if anyone wants to to add anything to it. Okay, so yeah, ignore the fact that there's no music on the stream. You can still <coughs> buy. Real quick, I'm just bringing up the rear, but I'm never more than ten feet behind everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need. Uh... Ten feet. I'm I'm on pickles and I'm playing the bagpipes for the group. Don't make me regret it, <laughs> Luke. Oh man. Okay, so it just ended. So he did negative five to the roll. He did negative five to the roll. Thank you uh, for participating, Rocking Monk, Mr. Lukey Luke. Was it negative five? Uh, yeah, he did negative yeah. five. Okay, okay. Because Roger said you meant to add ten, right? <laughs> but I, I'm, yeah, he's just kidding. <laughs> Uh, or is he? He wants to screw you guys. Okay, who wants to uh, who wants to do the draw on the Taroka deck to determine what happens? I'll oh, man. I'll do it. Do it, Bam! Do it. I thought I already drew 43 times. 
<laughs> you did. Oh, you drew I, far I, too many times. I drew the card, but it's all black. I, I drew it in the area that's all black, so you can't see it. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw oh, on the top of the map. I, I can, I can see, it. I can see it. Hold on, let me move it over. Okay. What's it gonna be? It's the healer. I can't. Oh. Wait. Where is it? Boom. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, it's sorry. me. <laughs> awesome. You're a lady. Oh, shit. <laughs> My secret. Okay. I'm Zelda. Uh, okay. So you make your way through the lands with uh, minimum difficulty. Oh my god, I have so many windows. <laughs> Beautiful. Good pick. <laughs> You need more monitors, Jay. John? John. Jay. John. <laughs> Jay, 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 Jay's the other brother in the game. I bet. Not even a small encounter of helpless goblins for us to shit all over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, John, Roger asked a question. What, you're doing oh, he what was that? Roger asked a question. I just don't know what. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have my chat right now. I'm looking at another oh. piece. Tell me what it he says. said, "Since since uh, David is on pickles, does he get a vision increase?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That higher point of view, man, makes a difference. Right. Like extra one feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the extra one feet. Hey, there's more stuff. Pickles actually has a giant giraffe neck. <laughs> you can climb twenty feet. <laughs> <laughs> he rides uh, on Pickles' head. <laughs> okay, so you make your way uh, uh, through the gates of Barovia. After about an hour, you come to the river, which uh, Irina comments as you pass over uh, that this is the river Ivlis. It's where Barovia draws most of its water from. Uh, as you pass over, you notice that despite the dreary nature of Barovia, the Ivlis River appears to be um, crystal clear. It's like a blue winter sky running straight through the land. Huh. That's impressive. One of the few things of beauty I've seen in this place. This land is eerie and dead. Except for you, my lady. You're a vision of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, quite, quite. Okay. Um, go ahead and uh, draw another card. Whoever wants to draw it. I got you guys. But like right over the llama if you can. I don't know if. Oh, there we go. Ah, I tried. <laughs> Help the transmuter. All right, boom, boom, boom. The transmuter. All right, so you all continue your uh, journey through the lands. Um, go ahead and make another draw, anyone? I'll do it. Oop. We should have turned Pickles into a boat and just sailed her down the river. The <laughs> Enchanter. Enchanter. Let's keep getting these low numbers. They seem a lot cool. of like mystical <laughs> cards we're drawing. Yeah, you you're, you guys keep drawing out of the stars. Um, that's like the the. Type you're drawing out, actually. And the next one's like the death card. <laughs> I was waiting for him to be like, "Oh, I have the wrong deck out. Hold on." No, I was like, I was like, did all the cards that Jay draw like skew the deck? <laughs> but no. no, they they didn't. I have it set to infinite cards. I just thought I it would be. I was like, wait a minute. Something. <laughs> Thank you for getting rid of those high cards. I do what I can. All right, um, so you guys roll up to uh, what appears to be um, a crossroads. Uh, one <clears throat> heads off to the right in a dark forest, and one heads off to the left. Um, an old wooden gallows uh, creek in a chill wind that blows down from the high ground to the west is over here <laughs> a frayed length of rope dances on its beam the well-worn road splits here and a signpost opposite the gallows points off in three directions barovia village points to the east sir pool points northwest and ravenloft 
slash Velaki to the southwest. The northwest fork slants down and disappears into the trees, while the southwest fork clings to an upward slope across the gallows, a low wall crumbling in places partially encloses a small plot of graves shrouded in fog. I, this I isn't where we would run into that uh, carriage that Mr. Strahd sent, is it? Um, he did mention the crossroads was where the carriage was going to pick us up. But um, I also... There doesn't appear to be any carriage here. He, yeah. he mentioned a certain time, didn't he? Was it, didn't he say at midnight? Or I forgot the time he said. I really should write notes. Well, <laughs> we won't be getting in any carriage as long as Irene is with us. I agree. True, very um, true. While we were in the tavern, they did mention a town going to the right that we can um, we can find friendly folks that could probably uh, give us some more resources or help us out in some way. What was the name of the town again? Sling Pool? Something like that. Deadpool? Uh, you notice if you look on the sign that the signpost that reads Sir Pool, like T-S-E-R, uh, points to the northwest. <laughs> please, please say guys yay or nay I'm checking out Sir Pool yay Irina can you tell us anything about this place yes that's good uh the Sir Pool that's uh where the Ivlis River has created a small pond the Vistani have taken to camping there that's that's where Madame Eva makes her home <coughs> I say we should go speak with Madame Eva it could be oh, good. I've I've heard she can see the future. Oh, that's very interesting. What are you saying? Sure with fiends and devils. <laughs> what was that? She commune with fiends and devils. I I'm not sure. I believe she reads them off the cards. <coughs> You're a fiend, fiend and devil. Fiends and devils off cards. I'm sure that's not the way it works. I'm here. <laughs> How about we go and, and explore the I town? I can't trust anything in these lands. No, I understand. Uh, her brother did mention that uh, she could provide <laughs> us some useful information that could help us on our way. She is very knowledgeable. That's true, but the longer we're here, the longer Irina is exposed to You know what I think? This place. It smells like adventure, so let's do it. <laughs> I need more stories. E you money. Do not care Eek. for the lady's safety. She looks pretty safe. Uh, hey, lady, can you lady, can you knock on the armor? See how hard it is. She has, she has us to protect her. We need, Appear we need to be prepared to face Strahd. Why not? Why face... don't we ask Irina? Hey, that's we a good can, idea. We can, we can face Strahd without having her with us. No, I mean we need to be more prepared for when we do face Strahd. Uh, and uh, this lady seems to have a lot of information in this town. It could help us out. So her bro so Irina's brother tells me. Let's give it a shot. Irina, do you do you know if the, how much do you trust that she uh, would have some kind of information for us, or possibly how much do you trust in this power that she can see the future? Um, well, I've I've heard tales of magical powers that the Vistani possess. I've never seen it myself. But I've heard that Madame Ava is quite powerful. Alright, I want to I want, I want to write up to Irina here on, on Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, Miss Irina. Doesn't this sound just even a little bit exciting? You want to see what it, what it is exactly? Oh, man life of a bard <laughs> she says i i would prefer to get to safety though the path along the the Ivlis is technically the fastest so then oh, good. we'd get you there a little faster going this way wouldn't we i'm i'm not opposed to either path i'll, I'll follow you whichever you all think is best I'll and tell you what I, i'm here i've i've heard good things of madame ava all right. If it's tell you a faster what, way, that seems reason enough. Yeah, let's go see this Madame Ava, and uh, if there's any trouble, Pickles here will uh, protect you. Is it the more treacherous way, though? What else 
is through this route besides these Vistani? Uh, it simply leads down into the valley where the Serpool is. Uh, I start to walk down the path and say, come, we've wasted enough time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Aggie, come on, Lady Irina. <laughs> okay, you all... Um, are we are we passing by the graveyard? Uh, it's it's not, not... Sure, you can call it a graveyard. You are passing by the um, the gallows and the shallow graves, yes. Who was hung here, Irina? Um, she looks up at it and she says, I'm, I'm not sure. Barovia doesn't partake in public hangings anymore. I'm, I'm sure bandits have left these people out here. I started investigating the bodies like... There's no, there's no bodies. Oh, I thought he, I thought he mentioned he saw someone hanging, my bad. Nah, yeah, it was just uh, a rope that was like flying in the wind. Okay, okay. So on, on, onward continue. we go. <laughs> okay, um, you make your way down uh, the road uh, and suddenly you hear a loud creaking noise um, behind you coming from the gallows. Uh, you turn around to find um, where once there was nothing, you now see a body dangling from the gallow. Yikes. And uh, Walu, as you look at the corpse dangling there, you can see it shimmer in emerald green before it lights on fire. And it slowly turns around um, and you see your own face uh, <laughs> flashed around uh, the noose that dangles there and your feet dangle lifelessly over the ground. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, did we all see this or is it just Wallow? Just Wallow. I kind of like double check myself and like see if there's anything around my neck. Hey, Wallow, are you okay? My hands are around his neck. <laughs> I, uh, I look at David and I'm like do you see anything by that rope uh, that does rope. He... no the rest of you see just a grey corpse just... you all see oh, yeah, a do see corpse Wallu sees that it's him oh God, Wait, just but some... there, wasn't a, there wasn't a corpse there before though right mm -mm. there was not so there's a grey uh. corpse now this is hmm? some kind of illusion what, what, what kind of illusions are these? Is. Guys, it, it, does it not look like me? What? No, it's just a gray body. It looks kind of gross. I, I bet mean, it smells. So many I, ways, I, yes. How, is, is it very far away from us? Is it like can it, can, is it close enough to feel heat emitting from it? Or is it, like, can we tell it's an illusion? Or um, I'm going to use uh, my divine sense. Okay, uh, use your divine sense. You're you're about like uh, fifty feet away from it right now, Yanko. Okay. Um, and Walu himself doesn't actually emanate heat. Yeah, I don't. I don't heat. <laughs> okay. he, he just has a, like visual fire. Okay, so you activate your divine sense and you stare at the the body that dangles from the gallows, but you detect no presence, no fiend, no undead, nothing. Nothing seems to be foul about this place. There's Unusual. a lot of foul things in this whole area. I, uh... I go up to it. Okay. You approach it. Curiously. And it sways in the breeze. I try to touch it. Okay. Um, you reach up and um, place your fingertip on the body, and as you do... My feathers, my feathers. Your, your, your feather tip on the body. Um, and as you do, the body rapidly um, liquefies and coagulates into this gray slopping ooze that splashes across the gallow floors and onto your uh, feathered, or not feathered, onto your like bird feet. I um, uh, Tika, get away from that. Does, does it smell like anything? Is it just... uh, yeah, it smells like corpse. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, like, I'm immediately. Like, oh, I knew that thing must have smelled. I mean, as as a bird of prey, I'm not unfamiliar with the smell of death, right? But um, but still, I'm, I'm still disturbed by it. So I just I, I try to wipe it off and back up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, you're not like a carrion bird, are you? A what? Sorry. Carrion, like you don't eat uh, rotting stuff. No, I don't eat rotting stuff, but I I do like to vomit out my pellets and stuff. And 
usually they're around my home, so I, I, I do smell these things very frequently. Well, Walu, Dad, you're disgusting. <laughs> Walu, well, once, the, once the corpse sort of splatters across the gallows, um, it, it no longer has its uh, green glow, and you just see the same gray puddle everyone else does. Alright, and I just, I double check myself again, just like making sure I'm not liquid. Just like, that was the freakiest thing, guys. Okay, yeah, Y'all you said it was just gray? <laughs> you sort of pat over yourself, and you put your fingertips to your throat, and just as you do, you sort of feel um, the sensation of something tightening around your throat. Um, and as you go to, like, grab for what's not there, uh, you are relieved of the pressure. And I kind of, I want to let people know, I'm like, guys, there's, there is something around here. <laughs> something just grabbed my throat. I, I, um, I, I say I'm familiar with this type of magic. There, someone's creating illusions around us. Okay, can I do a perception check to see if I see anything? Uh, sure. Uh, like any, anyone nearby? Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. <laughs> the 20 was right there! What the... <laughs> um, okay, you uh, you sort of take a moment to look around and see if anything looks out of the ordinary, but you just see the sort of tall trees on either side of the road uh, swaying to the same tempo as the now empty rope that dangles from the, cal from the gallow. I let them know. They can't be too far away to cast an illusion like this, but I just I have no idea where they are. I um I gesture for us to to move along. I'm concerned for Arena's safety. I think this place is just getting to us. I'm gonna uh, cut the rope. Okay, are you just gonna step through the gray goo? I mean, it smells it, disgusting. I just, do it. Is there no way around it? Uh, no, it's covered like the wooden the, the like platform. You would need to uh, step up onto it. And the I rope mean, is probably drenched in it. I'm immune to disease, so it doesn't matter. You don't mind the okay. smell? Doesn't say you uh, as you like approach it, you are filled with the the scent of just rotten liquefied corpse. <laughs> Not who's the disgusting one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, you you push through it and you reach up and sever the noose, uh, leaving a frayed uh, rope to swing in the gallows, much like it appeared when you first arrived. All right, I'll uh, I'll I'll, I'll drop the noose at Waller's feet. There, this can't trouble you anymore. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I. I stay towards the back, but no further than like ten feet. Okay. And I'm just kind of staring around, like ominously, just looking for anything, just being all shifty-eyed, like trying to find something in the trees or something like that. Okay. Um, Walu, make a perception check. Oh dear lord. Oh nice. Okay. Fourteen. Um. So who wants? Uh, Taroka for the next leg of your journey. Uh, I mean, you know it's it, she... Okay, fine. What was up? I was gonna say, if you don't mind me doing it, if, if you do it, just do it on top of the road so that I can see it on the stream. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Cool. Hey, what do we be... got here? Oh, my God. Ghost. How accurate. That is a cool looking image, too. The awesome. ghost. I wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> what, 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 which card is it? The ghost. The ghost. 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 Doesn't even have a number. Wow. That's awesome. By the way, guys, welcome to the stream, all you newcomers. 15. Welcome! Come join us in our adventure! Please feel free to all right. follow that channel. We're here every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Okie dokie. I. Uh... So, shit's going down. <laughs> uh, why don't uh, one of you roll a d12 plus a d8? I'll do it. D12 plus d8. D12 <coughs> roll. D12 plus d8. I don't know if that's going to work. Awesome. 14? Hmm? 
Doubles. Damn. <laughs> I'll get an extra turn. <laughs> Chaos bolt bounces. Okay, so, um... What does Walu see? Walu, you think you hear something in the, uh, in the bushes, but you're not really sure, and it puts you on edge uh, even further as you continue down the road. Can you, um, can you give me another perception check, please? I definitely can. Do you say anything? <laughs> And I might hear in a second. Jeez, that's so bad. <laughs> okay. Um, oh no, so it's sneaking up on your ways. Okay, uh, does anyone have a passive perception over 12? I do. I have a passive perception of 15. It's 10 just plus your perception, right? Yeah, 10 plus your perception. Yeah, I got 14. Oh, Minus 15. Yeah. Okay, um, everyone go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. See, oh, okay, we, we can't click fine. Our click our if you would have said wait. something, Pat, I would have been like, I prepare my spell. <laughs> Had a Fire feeling. Dun, 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 dun. Are, are you going to right? bring us out, man? I, I don't think, can we roll? Uh, t- t- tw- 12 or higher. Oh, I mine's guess. 12 exactly. We have to click our dudes, right, to roll initiative? Yeah, 15, yeah, go, man. Yeah, go ahead and drag your guys onto the map. Okay, one second. How do is, we do is, that? Is there a map? I, I see nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, but here we go. Woo. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Let there be light. You, you guys are standing on our on our, on our our draw map that we use when these How events happen. How do I happen. take my character out? Uh, go to drag it. Go to uh, the drag journal the, the name. and go to the yeah. PCs and drag your name out onto the black square. Oh, I was grabbing the token, that's why. Don't hold your breath for my initiative, though. It's it's tradition, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got higher than a four, Agarim. Woo! Five. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it wasn't the worst this time. Uh, can you guys hear the sweet music? Yeah. Guess- yes. <laughs> I oh can't, God. but that's my headset. Come out, you foul beast! Creature! I wish I ran over nice. and then run. <laughs> <laughs> Woo-ha-ha-ha-ha. Oh, he's drawing shit. Let me zoom out a bit so I can see what you're doing. It's a road. It's a road. Rowads. Roads. Roads. <laughs> Off on the side, there's a little Wario drawing. Wait a minute. We're high. <laughs> We're high? Is that what you said? <laughs> LSD trip. Thank you for... What was in the muck? <laughs> Forgetting that, Jay. I was hoping you'd, somebody would. Okay, so the, the brown the brown is the dirt road, the green are trees. <laughs> there should be like uh, a, there should be like a paint right, bucket right. option. Is there no paint bucket option when you draw stuff? There 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 isn't actually. I, I can do like a shape uh, that would sort of work, I guess. But uh, I can only do squares, which is why I always avoid it. <laughs> okay, we should, we should. Yeah, looks pretty good. Cool. Um. Okay, so uh, go ahead and do your marching order. Remember, you were headed to the top left of the screen. Uh, that's where we're heading towards. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I, I was kind of near it, the the muck. Okay, I backed the, off a little bit. In the middle. I, think Ag- I assume um, I was leading. I'm guessing M here was probably the closest as he got the rope from there. Uh, well, well, yeah, I mean, no, well, I cut it and then we started walking forward. Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you guys are not at the gallows anymore. Okay. I don't have sight anymore. Oh, sorry. Let me just... Uh, for at the moment, the, yeah, I'll do that. At the point of rolling initiative, did I jump uh, off pickles? Here, let me um, let me switch off Fog War. You guys, it's it's daytime. You guys are fine. John, John. What was that? Uh, when uh. I rolled initiative, did I, did I jump off pickles at that point? 
Uh, no, you're on pickles. Okay. Um, okay. So, you guys all ready for your marching order? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Middle. Um, oh, was I not in lead? Let me see. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a paladin, so yeah, we're, we're fine. <laughs> okay, so who has, who hit the, um, who, who had the passive initiative that was over 12? Mine's 15. Uh, I, I have a 12 or over, right? It's a 12 or over, yeah. Oh, then I think everybody. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so it, does every is everyone higher than 12? That makes sense. You all have proficiency bonuses. Um, well, assuming you're proficient. So everyone's 12 or over, right? Right. Yes. Okay, great. So we'll start at the top then. Uh, Nightbreeze, you see Walu looking fidgety, and as you turn to check on him... Um, you see two sort of uh, naked humans uh, wearing only like a uh, animal cloth uh, wielding uh, wielding great axes uh, bursting out of the uh, forest. Oh, this is totally normal. <laughs> Guys, we have company. Is it is it like is it still foggy like it was in Barovia or is it direct sunlight? Uh, it's not foggy, but there's no direct sunlight. It is overcast. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shout out that that we got coming, <coughs> and then I'm just gonna, I guess, prepare myself. Uh, and, if one comes in range of me, I'm gonna attack it. Okay. Um, and and night breeze, uh, you also notice, and we brought this up before, but I'll just as a reminder, um, you notice that the sunlight doesn't seem to be bothering you. Um, okay, if you're done, just hit EOT in the chat. Oh, yeah. And it'll move to the next player. Oh, well, handy. Alright, my character sheet just popped up. Give me a second while everything loads. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is... Might be an issue, man. It's kind of slowing down stuff. Um, well, while that's loading, I guess I... I'm gonna get a little closer because I think I'm still too far away to do anything. I can, my everything froze. Everything just froze. Mm -hmm. There it goes. <laughs> it, it's just taking a while to load. There it is. All right. Yeah, this is probably gonna happen every single time it's my turn. <laughs> By the way, um, so I, I'm gonna let's see. A walk five, ten. Sorry. I don't know, it's 5, 10. The fuck was I doing? 5, 10, 15, 20? What's this? Let's see. Okay, cool. So I'm going to cast my Frostbite at, these, at, at, okay. at this guy right here. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm not... There we go. At this guy. Boop. Right. So just... Um. The effects. Oh. Lame. <laughs> All that for nothing. <laughs> okay. If you, if you're done, go ahead and. Uh, oh no, he needs the uh, his Constitution save, right? Yeah. That's what we're doing here, I guess. Oh. That has advantage. That shouldn't have advantage. Okay. Uh, uh, but one was a 19 and one was a 10, so... <laughs> uh, okay. He passed on both dice. Yeah, I'm just going to back up a little bit. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and hit EOT if you're done. Uh, scroll up a bit. Boop. There we go. Walu. Oh, Alright. Yeah, mine's... Just hold on, hold on. It's, it's it's actually not your turn. That's why it's the berserker's turn. Oh, oh. it's I, weird because I, I had control of it for the whole time until he he clicked that. There it is. It's back. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's actually for the the berserker's turn. I uh, they they jumped in the initiative a little late. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, Tika. Motherfuck. All right. Are you gonna dash at me? I was like, wait, yeah, my, my max is thirty-five. Holy crap, that guy's speedy. 
He's naked. This guy doesn't hold him down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. Um, so, Tika, they rush up to you, uh, but they're unable to get any attacks in on you. I really wish I could see my spells while I'm while all the people are doing their turns. I can. That's so weird that you can. I can't because it's, yeah, it's a visual thing that we're doing. It's it's because we're passing the camera around from player to player. Oh, all I right. can't just so I can't just ever... always have my player. No. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I can't. can see I can see mine all the time. Why does it only affect me or him? Because it's Yonko cause... is the one streaming, so his vision is the one changing. So his ownership jumps around to everyone's token. Yeah. So I can can't see their visibility. Up, can you just open up a second client? Uh, he, doesn't want to run, he doesn't want to run two clients. Hmm. Otherwise, we would just have an observer account that does it. But this is yeah. this is irrelevant to the game session. So, yeah. Uh, David, go ahead. All right. So I'm still on pickles. Okay. So I'm going to move us over here. <laughs> and I'm going to cast... Firebolt on this one. Hmm. All right. Hold on. Oop. There. God damn it. What's up? I kept moving my thing around, but it wouldn't move. There it goes. Okay. Whoosh. The special effects. Nice. All right, you rolled twice. <laughs> sure did. Well, one's a 12 and one's a 13. All right. Uh, we'll oh, go. the damage is so different. What well, was <laughs> the one on top or the one on bottom? Uh, let's go for bottom. Did you double the damage? No, no. it's it's, it's, it's because it, it has a d20, so it's rolling critical damage in case he crits. Uh, huh. Okay, uh, you unleash a firebolt at him, and he takes it onto his manly naked chest. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're done, go how ahead. I feel and... about this. <laughs> of course, it's going. All right. Um, there we go. I move back just a little bit, and if my thing decides to load. I think we might need to kill the camera changing because it seems to be dragging everyone down. Yeah, Except me. <laughs> I agree. Looks fine for me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, actually. I wonder if we have so. better computers. Jay, do you, you don't have any issues either, do you? Mm-mm. I know we have. We all have pretty good computers. <laughs> Wait, John P, do you have a pretty good computer? My computer's not bad, man. It's all right. I mean, it, I could, am... it could be our internet too. All right, internet's Casting not bad either. <laughs> well, I got nothing. What are you Ray doing? Of frost. Okay. Scoot. Right onto that guy. <laughs> the white diarrhea. Right. Uh, you you unleash the ray of frost, but he sort of sees it coming and ducks behind Tika, and you leave a frosty spot in the grass behind him. Beautiful. And I end my turn. <laughs> All right, Agarim. Yes. Uh, hmm. I will step in front of David just in case they get any funny ideas. Ah. And I'm just going to go all out one out. I'm doing guiding bolts to this fella here. How roughed up does he look after that fireball, by the way? He looks barely singed. Okay, yeah, I'm totally guiding bolting his ass. Oh. Um, okay, so you unleash a, a guiding bolt, but the strange uh, men appear to be light, quick on their feet, and he definitely dodges out of the way. Damn. Uh, shit, can I just expend a luck point for that? Yeah, go ahead. Shit, so soon I'm already using these stupid Let's points. Let's roll another D20. Luck 20. Eat. And then a D20? All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll 1d20. So you rolled a 6 on your last one. 
So, you, the same thing. It's the same thing. You only went up one point. That wasn't enough. <laughs> she went, uh, I don't want to waste any more, so yeah, I'll just uh, I'll call it at that. All right. Oh, uh, end of turn. I am here. The ungirded. <laughs> um, uh, sh- is the sheathing a sword, that's what? Movement? Uh, no, it's, it's it's an object interaction. It doesn't take anything. Well, what? But I want to. I I need to have a free hand to cast a spell. Okay. Do you so, have a shield? Yeah. Okay. So I, I guess what I'm asking is, is it, is it possible to like put the sword away, cast it, and then take the sword out again, or do I have to like keep it put away? Um, you could probably just. Put your sword in your shield hand temporarily. Uh, what does will I? At the end of the turn, do I have my sword in my actual hand? Or? Yeah, that's that's fine. You, you can move the sword back to your hand. All right. Well, um, yeah. So I'll I'll cast bless. Does it affect the whole party? Uh, so it's, uh, three creatures of my choice, so I'll do Tika, and I will also do, um, Irina. Is she even on here? Uh, of course, I wouldn't forget (laughs) to put Irina on, how dare you? She, (laughs) She was very effectively hiding in a bush. Oh man, look at her come out of that bush. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also myself. Okay. And, uh, we, mm-hmm. and then I'll move here. Is that a cantrip? No, it's a, uh, a level one enchantment. Uh, don't forget to use it off your uh, sheet. That way it'll expend it for you. Oh, okay. And then, that, did that use it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, UT. What's happening? So I'm mo- I'm moving Irina up since I don't know some asshole forgot to put her in the initiative order. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And you hit EOT? You did. Um. Hey, I got my character sheet back. Oddly enough. Yeah, that's because we went through the the vision unit, which has you seeing all the characters. Gotcha. Um. Okay. So, uh, I, Irina, um, sort of puts her sword up and starts protecting herself. Night breeze. It's your turn. Cool. I'm gonna move up over here and then attack the guy in front of me. Okay. Yeah, my thing froze viewers, by the way. Just give, give it a second. I'm, uh, there it goes. Yeah. And an arm strike. Wow. Oh, those dice are so bright. <laughs> Thank so you, Afro Sauce. Yeah, behind this white. Hey, Afro. <laughs> hey! Do I okay. Him? Yeah, you uh, you smack him with your, your fists, because you're cool. a monk. For sure, you hit him with your fists. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to spend one of my key to do Fury of Blows so I can get two more unarmed attacks on him. Mm-hmm. Do it. Flurry it up. Oh, oh. That one misses. And one more. Woo! Ooh. Right. Damn. They're both. Oh. <laughs> and you rolled double ones. That's Damn. a bummer. Well, I hit okay. Y- you did. Uh, on with hitting him that last time. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I can use open hand technique. Okay. Uh, so hold on. So on your last hit, it was a critical. Oh, geez. So you <laughs> unleash the 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 flurry of of blows and you punch him once directly in the chest and then he manages to dodge your second fist which was of course all part of your plan which you <laughs> unleashed like a vicious blow directly to his head fracturing his skull oh shit wow, badass. 
Nice, uh, nice. Um, Pure damage with that, and a pressure spell. With that last hit, I'm going to use my open hand technique to attempt to knock him prone. He has to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. Uh, his it has to. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, oh, wow. so you, you you punch him in the head, cracking his skull and sending him like flopping to the ground. Oh, <laughs> dunk. Hey, uh, gotta scroll up. In turn. <laughs> Damn, it's a hell of a turn. Right. <laughs> Step it up, guys. Come on. I have one eye. Where are you at? This guy's skull. Let me put him on his... He's prone. It looks uh, like he's just on fire. Yeah, there's not like a great prone icon, so <laughs> that's what I've been using. Sweet. It's my turn. Let everything load for a second. <laughs> All right, cool. So, as a bonus action, real quick, before I forget to do it, I forgot to do it last time, I'm going to bring out my Spirit of the Bear. Rawr. And, <laughs> uh, come on, don't lag on me. It's not, it's not letting me drag it out for some reason. Um, yeah, that's... Alright, we're going to need to kill this camera thing, we'll have to do it next time. Uh, yeah, sure. go, ahead and go ahead and ping where you want that. Okay, I'll just put it right here so that it affects everybody. Or, okay. sorry, right. Wherever, wherever, yeah, that, no, I had the first time right there. Huh. Oh, it's a huge radius. Never mind. Alright, so, um, what this does, I'm going to show my viewers also. Oh, that's the owl. The spirit of the bear. The bear spirit grants you and your allies its might and endurance. You and your allies who are in the aura, when the spirit appears, each gain temporary hit points. Uh, equal to 5 plus my druid level, which is 4. So you guys get a total of 9 temporary hit points. Um, in addition, you and your allies gain advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws while in the aura. You guys all got that? Yep. 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 Cool. So the, yeah. Uh. 9 temporary hit points. Let me add that in real quick. And I'll add that after I, I do it, my, my stuff. And I'm going to... Um... I'm gonna focus on this guy right here, and I'm gonna do my flame blade. Damn. Man, that shitty roll, you, you, dude. You guys are having some um, rough rolls. You get <laughs> plus 1d4 for uh, blast. Also, oh, alright, so let me roll a d4. Roll d4. Okay, so you um, summon a flaming blade from your feathery fingertips and slash it across him. Uh, go ahead and what is it? Three D. You're to get it nine damage, nine fire damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you deal. Uh, you open him up uh, a pretty nasty wound on his chest that immediately cauterizes. Awesome. Were you were you attacking the prone one? No, I was attacking this one right here. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Um, yeah, that's all I can do for now. Okay. Dun dun. I'm going to pass the turn for you. Go for it. All right. So, um, the one you just hit with the, uh, fire sword flame blade, um, lets out a mighty roar and you see, uh, sort of madness enter his eyes. Ooh. And he takes a swing on you. Man. That advantage, though. Hitting you for 12 points of slashing damage. Okay, I have no idea what my thing is, so I'm going to have to wait till my turn. 12. Um, After he hits him, I'm going to use my reaction strike to attack him with Sentinel. Okay, sounds good. Jacob, do you only have 10 hit points listed? Well, I just give myself 9 with the bit, the bear thing. Temporary hit you points. You didn't up your hit points for the last level up? Um, I, I'll just let you handle it on your turn, or uh, in a second here. It, it might have overwritten, because when I tried to give myself the 9 temp, it 
overwrote my current max health for some reason. Uh, yeah, so I got a an 11 to hit him. Uh, you do not make contact. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, it's not my turn. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Um, the, uh, the next one lets out a similar roar and takes a swing on you, Nightbreeze. Cool. Is he prone? He is oh, he's prone. St- he, sorry, he stands up and then attacks you. Wait, uh, before he does an action, he needs to do a con save because of his skull fracture. He does need to do a con save. Good catch. Oh. <laughs> a, DC, a DC 20 constitution saving throw. <laughs> is, that, is that really what it is? That's yeah. <laughs> Man, you he messed him up. He's pretty fucked up. <clears throat> Damn. That will definitely hit if he makes this saving throw. Oh, that's not supposed to be with advantage. Either way, he, he Either failed. way, he failed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In which case, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. Um, okay. Well, he, he stood up and then and then failed to take an action. Had a mild aneurysm. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just standing what? up. Ow. David, it's your turn. All right. There we go. All right, so we're going to ride. What is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We're going to ride over here. We're going to cast Firebolt on this happy fellow. Okay. Man, he's got a skull fracture. You're going to pick on him? Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my garg. <laughs> All right. That, that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so you unleash an incredibly savage fireball <laughs> um, that smashes... His nakedness just enrages me. <laughs> uh, here we go. Boom. So that's what you call it. Well, he's definitely completely <laughs> naked after the fire consumed what he did have on. Uh, that smashes into his chest, and uh, Night Breeze and Tika, you can hear his ribs uh, crack as the fireball slams into him. You gotta do the sound effects. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> And he does no actions on his next turn. When it makes contact, his skin yeah. sizzles. Oh no, that's when he attempts an action. So when he attempts an action, he has to make two con saves. <laughs> a 10 and a 20. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the poor man. How is he not just dead? I mean, he just took 16 damage from that. And... He's in a coma. Hold on. Uh, here you go, ready? I'm going to... So, the fireball hits him, and Night Breeze, and Tika, you hear... <laughs> Was that a popsicle Jeez. stick? I don't know, it's, it's called Bone Break. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, okay, Walu, your turn. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Um... I guess once it's my turn, give it a second to load. Some special effects for that poor man. I can talk to <laughs> Afro while we wait. I use the bathroom while it's not. There working. we go. All right. Um, just to kind of make sure he stays down <laughs> or he stays oh, <laughs> super hurt, I'm gonna hit him with the chill touch. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, um, yeah. You send out your necrotic little hand and it clings onto his body. Anything seven, else? Seven necrotic damage. Um, mm-hmm. uh, that will. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click end of turn there. Or actually, I. I step back just a bit closer towards Irina to make sure that she's still good. <laughs> and then end my turn. Okay, Agrim. All right, um, time for round two, fucker. Uh, I'm once again aiming for that dude right there, the uninjured one, <laughs> or at least the what the one that's not obliterated at a bone level. <laughs> and 
I want to save my luck points. So this better hit. I'm guiding Bolton on his face. There you hit. Badass. Mm. Okay, you unleash the guiding bolt and it cracks into him. Alrighty. You rolled a one, two, three, four for your other dice. <laughs> Anything else? Um, no, that should be it. Uh, it I guess the, the next attack on him just gets advantage too. All right, uh, you want to pass your turn? All right. I'm here. Uh. You had some, like, uh, disarm rule in place, didn't you? I did. Uh, would you like me to tell you how it works? Yeah. Um, okay, so if you want to disarm an opponent, opponent, you make an attack roll, and it's contested by their athletics or acrobatics. If the attacker wins, they're disarmed. If uh, the attacker rolls at disadvantage if the defender is holding a weapon in two hands, which it is, the defender's roll is at advantage it, or um, if it is larger than its t attacker or disadvantage if it's smaller. So you're the same size and he has it in two hands, so um, you would get a disadvantage on the attack roll. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not gonna work for me. I'll just uh, hit him with my sword. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn! Everybody is dying. <laughs> Lose a foot or leg. Damn. Okay, so uh, he seems pretty caught up in his fight with Tika, and um, I'm gonna use smite. <laughs> okay. Jesus. So is that two d eight? I don't know what your smite damage is. What's well, one d eight, and then the crit? Oh uh, yeah, so it would it would be two d eight. Shablam. It fucked. Siete okay. Machete. So you like slam your sword into his leg and it buries halfway through his uh, leg and just as it's about to get stuck you unleash holy power to propel it the rest of the way through and you completely remove his leg uh, just above the knee. <laughs> ah. I just imagine him teetering over just tunk. <laughs> uh, the might of the helm strikes you down, barbarian. <laughs> uh, okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna pass your turn for you. Oh my God. Uh, Irina stays in the back, um, though she's turned her back to your fight and is uh, sort of staring off on the uh, opposite side of the road, anticipating, uh, you know, any additional attackers. Night breeze. Cool. I'm gonna attack the guy in front of me again with my. I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> God damn it! Damn. These rolls. <laughs> what is up with these ones? Okay, you you punch him in the face, and he oh. seems <laughs> he seems real rough, man. He seems real. He's like spitting up blood. <laughs> I'm gonna spend another. I'm gonna spend another key point to do the fury of blows. That's better. Okay, you unleash another savage hit on him, and he seems like <laughs> he, he's basically being like been beaten to death. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're fairly sure that you're you're going to kill him if if you hit him anymore. And one more. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and one more. Boom. Okay. Um, you reel back and um, punch him square in the head, and as you do, you can sort of feel his skull uh, split and, like, crumble, and you just, like, cave in the top front of his head, and the body slumps <laughs> over to the side. That's right! Does this have Anything any else? psychological yeah, effect that's all I can do. <laughs> on the other guy? <laughs> God, that guy did get just destroyed. <laughs> All right. I mean, his friend was brutally beaten to death, and then I just chopped up his leg. <laughs> he can't run away now. <laughs> you have to give me a... Hey, well, we're, we're going to be done with this. But next time, whoever's before me in, in, in initiative, we can just go next sooner. Load everything fucking shit. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to have to get rid of this, man. It's causing too much trouble, John Johns.
Yeah, it's it's just it, it takes forever for yours to load up for some reason. Yeah. I mean, I know you're the one moving, but it's just it seems weird how long it's taking on your side. Yeah, it's because my character sheet has to load up again and then it unloads. But whatever, I'm I'm here. I'm good. All right. So if I if I move, oh shit! If I move just next to him, I don't I don't cause an opportunity of attack, right? As long as I'm still no, right you next you have to leave okay, the area. Cool. So in order to to create a flank, I I do like a little. It's called an Arabic flip towards this way, and I, I <laughs> flame blade his ass again. Flanking a one-legged person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you um, unleash another uh, flame blade into his flesh, um, searing him and cutting him open. Right, cool. And I just I stare at his at him as he's there with one leg. <laughs> 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 That's my turn. <laughs> All right. Um, did, I, did I hit it? There it goes. Yeah. So the um, berserker barbarian naked dude uh, is sort of uh, now that he's pinchered between you guys, like does his best to sort of hobble away from you. Um, <laughs> does he is that which, a disengage? It is. Okay. Um, what? I, with Sentinel, I can still hit people when they disengage. Okay, go ahead. Isn't his movement speed halved? Uh, I'm just moving him around. I'm waiting for J. Oh, yeah, I, I can't. I, I had already uh, clicked it, and then I was like, click him, and I couldn't. He's fine. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh <yay. laughs> Take okay, that. so you whiff the attack and he gets about 15 feet away from you before he <gasps> sort of <gasps> falls over and, like, onto the ground. I don't get an opportunity of attack for moving away from me? He disengaged. He disengaged, okay, okay. Um, David? Alright. Give it a second. There it goes. Alright, so this guy's pretty beat up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's dying. He's gushing blood from a missing leg, and he's laying yeah. on the ground. Come over here. <laughs> I'm going to cast a Ray of Frost on him. <laughs> and the animation. Go! God. <laughs> oh my like, god. Hey, buddy, you need to cool down. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that was not too bad. Chicks dig it, it says. <laughs> oh, I want a miner scar. Maybe okay. Okay, describe how your um, ray of frost kills the one-legged one, one -legged man on the ground. <laughs> so I extend awesome. my tiny little gnome hand, and this blue ray just shoots out of my hand, completely covering him and freezing him solid. Solid! <laughs> <laughs> and gave him a minor scar. <laughs> Give him a minor scar right. on his forehead. Seeing him frozen solid, I just like walk up and like knock a couple times and then just <laughs> kick through it. <laughs> okay. And you you send bits of frozen blood and viscera <laughs> careening down the road. Yay. I have a sound effect for you guys. <laughs> you have a sound so effect for me? Is that what you said? Yeah, I just go. Yeah. Go! Yeah. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I think, I think Patrick was yelling when you played it. Yeah. <laughs> that's ass. I like that. Get in boot. <laughs> yes. Um. That was a pathetic display. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. Do they? Do they have anything? Like worthwhile on them, or are they just naked and axy? They have axes. Yeah, <laughs> we could sell those. <laughs> Though the uh, the one that uh, the frozen guy was carrying it now has chips out of it. Can you uh, oh, yeah, give me access to my character sheet, John Jones, please? Yes, sir. I guess if that's a thing you need. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Hold on for the wild ride of initiative. <laughs> Well, oh, that was fun. How are you doing, Irina? <laughs> Just, like, mortified, I bet, at this display. 
This is what real combat looks like. Frozen just naked men. Freezing a one legged man to death. Just a bit. So like, well I'm I'm glad that uh we're safe. I appreciate you all being here. I certainly wouldn't have survived the encounter without you. You're welcome. And you were such a good girl, Pickles. I pat her on the side of the neck. <laughs> her head falls off. Her head falls off. No, oh, not Pickles. <laughs> Is Tika wounded? No. Wait. I, I, oh, I, yeah, you took 12 points. But I had nine temporary hit points. So you took just like three. I took three. Yeah. I'm like, you know who's wounded? That guy. And I point to like, the busted up frozen one. <laughs> just, just his shoes frozen or just his feet frozen on the ground left <laughs> everything else just shattered away <laughs> you don't suppose they had something to do with the corpse display back there nah yeah, they seem magical um, yeah, what, what kind of leather pretty... did they have on them they had axes you said they had they leather naked. clothing they, they had like animal furs on them I'm okay. pretty sure all that burnt the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, they were completely frozen. naked by the end of that. <laughs> There's nothing else to worry about here. Let's get to the camp. Let's go! To Sir Pool. <laughs> I'm all, let's go, I say, as I walk to the back of our marching order. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the road gradually disappears and is replaced by a twisted, muddy path through the trees. <sighs> uh, deep Irene, ruts... you didn't say anything about this. <laughs> um, she says, we're just heading down into the valley. This is where the water pools, so it's damp. Uh, it should be fine. We're all wearing boots. Um, she, 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 <laughs> she looks over at Dave and she's like, just... Stay on the llama. Deep ruts cut through the, the wet earthen road are evidence of the comings, uh, frequent comings and goings of wagons. Uh, there's a canopy of mist and branches uh, hanging that uh, eventually give way to black clouds that uh, boil uh, above you. There's a clearing here next to a river that widens to form a small lake several hundred feet across. You can see five colorful round tents, each 10 feet in diameter, are pitched outside a ring of four barrel-topped wagons. Um, <clears throat> a much larger tent stands near the shore of the lake, its sagging form lit from within. Near this tent, eight unbridled horses drink from the river, uh, the mournful strains of an accordion clash with the singing of several brightly clad figures around a bonfire, and the footpath continues, a footpath continues beyond this encampment, meandering north between the river and the forest edge. Ooh. I want to make my way towards that uh, music and singing. This is a strange encampment. Sounds right up. I didn't realize there was actual color in these lands. Um, was so anyone who was in the blood of the vine? Um, never. I <laughs> uh, would notice uh, a striking similarity between like what all of the folks here are wearing and what the three women in the tavern were wearing. Are we supposed to be seeing something right now? Uh, is it is it all black right now? It's all black. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. all black. I kind of hint, or I, I just let everyone know. I just say like these clothes are very, very similar to the the ladies that were in the the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Must be in style. What was that sound? Is there <laughs> chickens around? <laughs> hey! Hey, there we go. Hey. What the hell? There's a lot of things. Oh, they look terrifying from a distance. <laughs> Afro, come on, man, come on. <laughs> what is... What is the, uh... Where is that chicken sound coming from? Freaking Jay's playing sound effects. I can see him looking down at his phone. <laughs> tablet. It's on the tablet. I was, like, tablet. I was like, did I just accidentally put that on? <laughs> 
<laughs> um, okay. Cool. Well, I um I kind of stay behind it, my 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 group, and I I cloak myself, trying to hide as much as my face and my feathers as possible. I know that gets kind of negative attention. Who are we supposed to seek out here? The Adam. I I, I kind of tell you without looking up, the the fortune teller. Does the I fortune teller just... have a name? Um, Irene. What was her name again? <laughs> Madam. Uh, Ava. Ava. I'm making a note. Check it twice. I would love to check out this fortune teller as well, but I don't think these people are gonna like me. I am. Um, <laughs> uh, anything I, I go like to, those women in the bar. I go to Agarim and I tell him, ask where, or I go to Irene rather. And I ask her if she knows where. You know where Madam Ava is. She says, "I don't venture to the camp very often, but I'm sure someone will." be able to tell us perhaps him and a as you're all standing there discussing one of the uh, colorfully dressed men approaches you I had my um, face. And he says uh, greetings travelers uh, would you like to have a seat a drink a song all of that please <laughs> all three sign me up this is a strange amount of hospitality for the people around here you're not like the rest of the Barovians he, says, he makes huh. a point. <laughs> well, sir, that's because we're not Barovians. We're Vistani. How we're not like you. Pirates are. We're, we're not as sallow as those folks down the road. Uh, we, we don't find much protection in hiding in homes. We prefer the roads. For now, we've uh, chosen to stay here. Why don't you come join us? All right. All right. I'll... Okay. Follow him. We we were just assaulted by a, I wouldn't say a band, a pair of howling naked madmen, <laughs> building axes. Have you encountered anything like this? I froze one solid, <laughs> and I he destroyed it. He says you were uh, attacked by nude men with axes. You say? Yes. Well, they had they had pants on. And not in a good way. <laughs> well, I suppose if you spend enough time around here, someone may drink enough to reach that point. But I, uh, I'm guessing you ran into one of the mountain men who live around here. They, they come down from the northern mountains, attack travelers. They're fairly dangerous, uh, though you <coughs> look pretty unscathed. You must be uh, able to handle yourselves. I'm yeah. impressed. Like I said, I froze one. <laughs> and I he, he, uh, he looks down at you and he's like mm, yes I, he um, says you're kind you're good with magic I, uh, as staying covered to like not show him that I'm an owl and freak him out I say mm -mm. Uh, do you know where Madam Ava Ava right? Madam Ava is Ava yeah walk, walk. <laughs> uh, Though, Tika, I, I would point out to you that he, he seems undisturbed by the fact that you have uh, a Ganassi and a Drow and a Gnome. Okay. Plus you have uh, I, I just wanted to, to let you know that. Okay. Um, so, are, are you trying to um, to hide... You're try actively trying to hide the fact that you're an Alkin, right? Yeah, well, just and I freak him out, yeah. But if, if they're not disturbed by it, and I notice that, then I start kind of not being so shy. Looking up okay, bit. you um you sort of take down your hood and he he's talking and he pauses for a minute and looks at you and sort of points at you and he says, <laughs> <laughs> "I don't appreciate you speaking for me, Jay. <laughs> I would make my own sound effects. Thank you very much." <laughs> he says, "You're uh, you're no raven, are you?" No, sir. I am an owlkin from this from the clan of Nika. Mm. You're not from around here, then? Not at all. None of us are, sir. Fantastic. Well, then you should all join me. If you need to speak to Madame Ava, she's in the large tent near the shore. Uh, she's been waiting for all of you. And uh, what's your name, sir? Waiting for us? Of course. Madame Ava has the power to see the future. She knows that which will unfold. She's been waiting for you several days. 
I haven't. Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit eager to see her, so I, could, I, I start walking that way. Yeah, that makes me way more interested, and I just keep up and walk with him. Okay. Um. He he says, "Uh, who who asked his name?" Me, David. Okay. He he leans down to to shake your hand, and he says, "My name is Edwin." And what is your name? Oh, I shake his hand. I'm David. David the gnome. You say the whole thing. <laughs> well, David the gnome, I see you're uh, carrying quite a few instruments. Would you care to partake in a song with us? Oh, yes. <laughs> Before he walks off or anything, can I I want to pull him to the side or like get his attention and ask if... Or just, or yeah, get his attention first. Mm-hmm. Uh, Edward... Y'all would happen to have a healer here, would y'all, in your caravan? Uh, he says, um, well, we could, because we have basic healing, uh, we could take a look at your wounds, though, I'm guessing, by the way, you all address your own more than proficient with, uh, med- It is. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll switch to the laptop. <laughs> he a pack of wolves uh, set upon us days ago. One took out his eye. There was a, a large one, had b- big red eyes. Have you en- encountered anything like this before? It's the guy. There are many dark creatures that roam the lands here. Uh. It's hard to say what could be out there. I've personally never encountered the creature, but I'm sure it's out there somewhere if you say it is. I've taken to uh, believing most things that travelers tell me. Huh. Well, I'm sure you'd remember it if you'd come upon it. He says, here, uh, take a rest. Um, David, the gnome. Uh, yes. Grab, grab one of your instruments and join us. All right. Uh, can I put my llama to drink with your horses? Of course. All right. <laughs> All right, Pickles. Go be a good girl. Okay, Pickles wanders over and like snuggles in between two horses. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm watching you, young lady. <laughs> um, okay, so David, you're gonna hang out and play music. Yeah. I'm gonna loot it up. I mean, I'm gonna I'm go not- find the madam with everyone else. Okay, who who's all going to find him? <coughs> me. Me. Uh, I guess I will I too. I will as well. So every everyone who's not David. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. What about David Irene? Playing is, music. is Irina gonna go too? Um, Irina stays with you, David. All right. Um, and uh, so as you also heading into the tent, you turn back and you see, uh, David begin to um play the lute along with the, the Vistani. Yeah. How, are the horses really that big? They're large. <laughs> yeah. They're like horses. horses. And the llamas are that small. <laughs> They're only like 10 feet long. Don't worry. Uh, well, l- llamas are only like 6 feet tall. They're, they're not very big. They're 6 feet tall and they weigh up to like 100 and... Or no, they, they they weigh. I mean, they weigh a lot. They can weigh up to like four hundred pounds, but they're not quite horse big. As I hear the music, I'm like, "What interesting mating calls!" <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. You let me keep your pants on, Tika. Oh, I am. I am not slightly aroused by that. Not my kind of mating call. So he claims. Don't do it. <laughs> That's for me to do. Let's walk into this I tent. Enter the tent. Where's okay, my Where's, where's um, my Tika character? Where's your what? My Tika token. <laughs> Tika it's token. Right next, it's right next to the tent. I'm interested, so I'm not scared on this, and I kind of walk serious? in right next to him. Just. It's, yeah, it's right here, man. I'm moving it around. Oh shit! I guess I, I missed it. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. You all step into the tent, and you you part the, uh, the the tent doors and walk in and it's dark inside the tent the the canvas is heavy and the sun is unable to pierce it um, and as you enter you see a reddish glow that um, dances across the walls uh, cast by magic flames that 
reveal a low table covered in um, black velvet cloth. Glints of light seem to flash from a crystal ball on the table as a hunched figure peers into its depths. As the crone speaks, her voice cracks like dry weeds. At last, you have arrived! <laughs> I'm so glad. Have a seat, please. I sit down immediately. You're fine. That's reassuring. Hey, earlier. <laughs> it is. It is definitely a different woman. <laughs> I am. Um... Do I scoot in at all so the others? Okay. Yeah, you, you you can all fit in the tent. You can ignore the like map size. I am. Um, I ask her. They they tell us you can you can help us with information. Um, I, I'm really curious as to what can what 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 for what these what are the dark forces that are that have come upon us the past few been years, right? Like in the. Uh, how long, how long has Strahd been around? <laughs> Strahd's been around for a very long time. Uh, okay, I as thought he was just know. recently summoned or something. Like that's what we read in that letter, right? I bet. Okay. You, you don't. You don't really know for sure how long he's been around, but you haven't gotten any indication that he's new. I got gotcha. you. Uh, I say, yeah. I just these dark forces that have been creepingly spreading through the world and are en endangering my homeland. She says, of course, of course, there are dark forces all over the lands of Barovia. Of course, I suppose there are dark forces everywhere. I know you've encountered them. I see the dwarf is no longer with you. Oh, man. <laughs> and she, she sort of uh, looks towards the door, and she's like, though, perhaps he is. Somewhat. <laughs> oh, I just like stare at her open mouth, and I'm just like, "Holy shit!" We, we, we must completely believing her. We need information on how to how to stop these forces from taking over our lands. She says, "Perhaps I can be of some assistance." Would you like a reading? Yes. And she pulls out a deck of uh, black backed uh, cards that your characters themselves would be unfamiliar with. Okay. I, I eagerly say yes. why you've been waiting for us to read cards? He says, I will tell you what is to come. It will help you, guide you on your journey. And you need cards for this. I tell him, let, let, her, let her do her thing. We all have our ways of dealing with magic. Please, they are, tell us what you're They're doing. a tool. I may see the future, but it is much easier when I have the cards, just as it is easier for you to slay a man with your sword than with your hands. And he, she turns to Nightbreeze and she says, well, perhaps not for you. <laughs> I flick off the zombie gift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like so, a little kid in a, at a candy store. I'm just right in front of I'm just like eager for her to read something or say, tell me something. So... She um, sort of gets up and walks over to the tent and makes sure that the doors, uh, the flaps are completely shut. And now only the, the magical red light flicks across the walls. And she lifts the crystal orb and sets it on a nearby chest and slowly pulls off the black velvet cover, revealing a dark oak table underneath it. She's she says, okay, let us begin the reading. Have you, have you ever had your cards read before? I've never heard of this magic before. I have this, not. <laughs> this is a Taroka deck. It will aid me in seeing your future. It will tell us what is to come. Now, some things may not be clear at first, but as you travel, you will understand their meaning. And she sort of holds out the deck and she says, Are we all ready to begin then? Yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she says, This first card tells a history, knowledge of the ancient, will help you better understand. <coughs> your enemy. Is this for all of us, or just one of us? It is for all of you, for you are one in your endeavor. And this 
is the healer. Look to the west and find a pool blessed by the light of the white sun. There you will find your knowledge. Next, the following card tells of a powerful force for good and protection, a holy symbol of great hope. The, <clears throat> the item will aid you in protection. Ah, the Avenger, uh, a powerful card, a, a protector. I see the symbol lies in the house of a dragon, and hands once clean that have now been corrupted. This card, this card is a card of power and strength. It will reveal a weapon of vengeance, a sword of sunlight. Hmm, the bishop, a powerful figure. What you seek lies in a pile of treasure beyond a set of amber doors. She scratches her face slightly and says, Hmm, you will need help. Let us find where you can find such help. This will shed light on who will help you in the battle against the darkness. Hmm, the artifact, an, an interesting card. Look for an entertaining man with a monkey. He is more than he seems. And finally, what you truly seek, your enemy. He is a creature of darkness whose powers are beyond mortality. This card will reveal the path to him. She flips over the final card and places it in the center. Ah, the tempter. I suppose in these lands it is a fitting card, a fitting path for you. S you seek a secret place, a vault of temptation hidden behind a woman of great beauty. Evil <coughs> awaits atop a tower of treasure. And she rests, sets the Taroka deck to rest on the table. This is... Your path is laid out before you. Now it is only up to you to follow it. I'm sorry. Can you can did anybody catch what the healer said? Can can you repeat that for for us, please? Sure. The pool, man. The pool. Find a pool lit by the sun. White to the west, sun. I believe. Yep. Look to the west. Find a pool blessed by the light of the white sun. What was that about the sword, though? That sounds, that sounds pretty boss. There was a, a, a weapon. She she mentioned a weapon. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, she, she did. She mentioned a weapon, a sword of sunlight. Uh, she said, what you seek is in a pile of treasure beyond a set of amber doors. <coughs> Dang. All right. Badass. I ask her... Um, nice. Will, will, will defeating our enemy stop the dark forces from what's happening to my homeland? She says, this I cannot see, for it is not yet determined. I, I, I get frustrated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, leans back and she says, I hope that these cards are able to guide you in your quest. I'm sure that you will find the information useful. Yeah. I'm upset that I, I, I don't know how to save my homeland. I, I kind of walk out the tent. Um, I'd like to ask her, I say, do you have any spells or books of magic or anything that I could possibly get from you and or, or use while we're here? She says, uh, 
No, I have no magical knowledge to share with you. I have given you all of the knowledge I have. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. And do, do you take tips? <laughs> um, she says, just the tips. Always, my friend. Always. And she always. sort of uh, slides a, a wooden bowl onto the table. <laughs> I, I dropped two gold pieces in it. She Thank you not for your time. Tips her head. <laughs> Do you know why Stride seeks Irina? She says, ah. I feel that he has an unsavory love for her. You just hear me in the that, background that, like, how, how, oh. How does... How does he... How do the two know one another? I... I don't know if they do. Perhaps... You could ask her. Though, she may not know if they do not know one another. <laughs> Is is she the temptress in your reading? It is not for me to decide. I provided you what I saw in the cards. She is a beauty. That I do admit. I, uh, I thank her again and I kind of walk off to go join the festivities with David the Gnome. Not being rude, just thank you. And We encountered an old woman uh, roaming around the streets of Barovia, handing out um, pastries to the townsfolk. And it, the, the pastries seemed to render them unconscious after they ate them. There was something wrong with her. Do you know anything of her? Her name is uh, Morgantha. <laughs> the old woman from the mill down the road. Right. Yes. What do you know about her? She is the old woman from the mill <laughs> down the road. <laughs> is she is she dangerous. She is dangerous. That is a good word. Dangerous, she is. <laughs> how uh, how else would you describe her? Hmm. Old. Hungry. Why, hungry. Why does why does she give pastries to the townsfolk? That I do not know. I am not close with her. Perhaps she's making a coin like the rest of us. Hmm. Right, but why... Why render them all unconscious? I'm sorry, I do not know. I see many things, but not all. I'll probably go join the rest outside as well. Do you, do you see anything else? Any, anything that you haven't told us that I, I don't know would be relevant to to our journey? We're, we're heading west to uh, uh, Kresik to bring Irina to a temple. Is, is this a safe place for her? I suppose the question is, are there any safe places in Barovia? Perhaps. Perhaps there are. Well, you, your camp seems fairly safe. Yes. We feel safe. And monsters never set upon you? I suppose they come. Some. And... <laughs> You kill them? Do you feed them to the horses? Is that how they got so big? She says, ah, Vistani horses are strong from pulling carriages. 
We are travelers. I come in angry to the tent and I slam my feathery fists on the table and I, I say, you, you have to know something about how to save my town. You're, you have to know something. And I start weeping at her table. <laughs> then hack up a rat. <laughs> um, so you, you slam your fists on the table and all of the, the cards from your reading go flying around. And she says, I'm sorry, I I don't know of your land. Perhaps, perhaps it will get better. Perhaps not. Tika, why are you so upset? We're, we're not even in your land anymore. I'm out, I'm out here trying to rescue my people. I'm out here you're, for them. You're... You've been taken from them. None of you seem to realize that. I just... I don't say anything. I just, I'm weeping. <laughs> wherever, wherever we are, we, we've been sucked away into to, to some place. By something. Uh, Madam Ava Ooh. gets up from her chair and... Um, says, uh, p -p perhaps uh, a song and a drink are in order. Join my fellow Vistani. Enjoy the evening. Know that at least some of your path has been laid out before you. I, I, I get up. Slander all slow and dropey. And actually go to the water instead of to the people. Okay. Uh, I'm here with you. He's weird. <laughs> she says, "Ah, they, they, they come in all colors. Enjoy your evening, sir. I'm here. It's still daytime, but thank <laughs> you. For now, <laughs> evening always comes in Barovia. I love how she knew your name." <laughs> Well, she knew about a dead dwarf too. Yeah, very true. Our 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 exploded fallen comrade. <laughs> I'm like I'm just I'm just amongst the horses, kind of petting them, and you know, trying to find consolidation with creatures that aren't so complicated. Before I leave the tent, <laughs> I uh, um, I want to ask her just. I feel I know the answer to this question already, but I'm assuming, or would you know, happen to know anything about this item? And I'm going to put the eyepiece on the desk. Hmm. She holds it up and, and looks to it and she says, hmm, interesting, an interesting piece. Five gold. I can do that. I actually have exactly five gold. <laughs> I will give her the five gold. She looks at it quizzically and she says, I think, I think you're confused. <laughs> I think that was an offer. <laughs> yeah, oh. I think she wanted to buy it. That's what she's saying. Oh, she worth. wanted to buy it. I thought she was going to identify it. My bad. Uh, no, I'll take that five gold back. <laughs> 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 uh, so she, she watches you set gold on the table and then realize that she was making an offer and taking it back. And then she goes, no, then. No, I'm not in the market for selling. And she slides it back across the table. That double level up in chat. Oh, snap. Actually, on that note, you know, I'll probably head back to the tent as well. All right, and then I'm going to head out. It's It seems like a, like a you know, mystical item. Um, but I ask her if she can tell me what the smoke sphere is that I got. Um, sure. So, is that what you say? You say, "What is this smoke sphere that I got?" I, I, I obtained this this uh, smoke sphere in a, uh, a terribly haunted mansion. I was wondering if you could tell me what it is. Um. So she she holds it up and looks at it. And she says, "Hmm. Yes. The house you collapsed, of course. Hmm." And she picks up her crystal ball from its holder and sets yours on top of it. 
And then she holds out hers to give it to you. I say, uh, I wasn't looking for a tray. I was wondering what you could tell me about it. No. This... Oh, well, I suppose I'll keep mine then. And she swaps them back out and hands you your orb back. Is her orb like like looking cooler or something? I'm just just throwing that out there. <laughs> her, hers looks like a it looks like a crystal ball. Mm, yeah. No, no, no. no. I'm just, well, now I guess I'm not getting any information about it. Um, I'll, I'll just, uh, tell her, thank you for your time, and I'll just I'll just go fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I just go fuck off. Fuck okay, off now, um, won't you? Are you guys gonna attempted thievery? <laughs> so we'll we'll wrap that up here. Uh, it's eleven fifty six my time, so that's uh, about four minutes short of our end time. All right. All right. Well, we moved right. forward, guys. We did. Yep, yep. We killed two naked barbarians. <laughs> right. Killed is putting it lightly. Yeah, you guys brutalized them. <laughs> was insane, we we brutally slaughtered some people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, boo what are you talking about? Afro. I just punched him a few times. I know, man. We just we streamed for three hours, bro. Eight to eleven. Get get here earlier, bro. No. Oh. Look at him rank nineteen, though. That's cool, though. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, dude. Yeah, there's a go to the pug store. You can buy some stuff, man. Um, we got we got spells. We got items. We're gonna incorporate some NPC stuff where you can like have yourself as an NPC in our campaign. So, yeah. Check that out. Yeah, Jess gave us a lovely spell that I forget the main effect, but it also but it, gives plus one plus to Wee Wee. Wee -wee. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for anyone who uh, who didn't get to watch the whole stream and is interested in watching it, it is still you can watch the whole stream on Yummy Yonko's Twitch or on YouTube uh, at Yummy Yonko. Once that gets put up, probably what later tonight you usually get it up or tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's actually. Uh, multi-streaming on YouTube as well right now so as soon as it finishes rendering or whatever it does it'll be up on YouTube so later on tonight for there sure. you go um, awesome well with that said uh, Afro man do you any, anybody have any questions as far as what's going on as, as far as the stream goes any news as far as it's gonna be maybe not available in days to come this is no, our this is our week. post show it just goes on for as long as we feel like. I've, I've, I've got to use this next week to think of what tomfoolery I've been telling these Vistani while y'all were all in the tent. <laughs> I, I gotta admit, I was I was expecting to get more information out of this 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 fortune teller. It was it was a bit of a letdown. Oh, I didn't. And you don't know fortune tellers very well. Yeah, I, yeah. I heard fortune teller, <laughs> and her favorite fucking word was perhaps. Mm -hmm. That was like the word of the day in the Biscotti camp. Pretty much, pretty much. I know you, you had your whole journey laid out for you. I don't I, know what you're complaining about. Uh, it's true. It's yeah, true. no, I like uh, you know. <laughs> I just thought I was going to tap more into things. our lore and You stuff. thought you were going to get more direct answers. Oh, no, just more more insight into our our personal lore, but it's cool. What do you mean, Afro? Can we rewind and skip the fortune teller? Can we rewind? <laughs> Like pretend that never happened. Just, just pretend JP it wasn't has, has wasn't there. That that time frame didn't happen, and we were doing something else instead. No, that needed to happen. We actually she actually did give us a lot of cool info about stuff to look for. She just laid like out an itinerary for us. Now we have a checklist sort Weapon of thing. things. Yeah, you know, hey cool. John Johns, if you can like sort of sunlight. If you can, yeah, like, that's, that sounds awesome. A sort of sunlight. That's pretty cool. If you can it's email be, us like a copy a of that map, man. Oh, what? No, like, no, you're not really here because I can't, I, like we're, like, I can't hear you. Now. Everyone's talking, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. I was gonna say <laughs> if, we can, if we can get a copy of that map, but I mean, I guess can we download them from this site? I haven't actually tried to do that. Uh, uh, what what map? The uh, the map we're discovering as we go. Like, I guess I, guess I don't, to, want, like, you, I don't want you guys to have a full version of the map. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll give you what you've unlocked. What you've unlocked. Yeah, you, you get. I was a that, test. You passed, John Johns. <laughs> no, no. I, I was just saying so we can mark kind of like where to, where we want to go, even if though we don't know the area. Like it's a blank. But yeah, we can, we can figure out a way to do that. Um, I mean, you guys can't just draw on the map. 
Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Penises everywhere. <laughs> nice. Drawn to the warriors. Yeah, just like to the west. You know, have like a little marker where, where, where that the west. The west. Anyways, well, I'm gonna start the outro music going. Things um, good. For those of you guys who joined us, thank you for joining us. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun having you guys here, Afro dude. And Roger, if you're still around, happy birthday again, man. Happy birthday, Roger. You had an awesome day. I drew you a lovely picture. <laughs> All right, dudes. It was the Afro. Later, guys. Later, Afro. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.